Welcome to the Wednesday Night War. I am Luco in DAD, but for today I am not representing Monday Night Raw. For in fact, it is episode two of our special five episode streaming deal where we're going to be playing through my GM mode on 2K23. It is not me versus Pete, it is instead Laurie versus Dan. Laurie representing NXT and Dan representing NXT 2.0, the winner of which will go on to join me and Pete in season four of my gm mode we'll be heading on over to those players very very shortly to have some thoughts in fact actually, you know what uh maybe we cut across to them uh briefly producers uh go across to our, our competitors uh dan how did you feel uh that the the first five weeks went uh well i thought i thought the first four weeks went spectacularly and then i thought the fifth week uh was nothing but betrayal oh that's a shame because it turns out that the, the really the really good plan, Dan, mm. is to essentially book four weeks in a high school gym <laughs> and then just book WrestleMania. Because <laughs> that's what I did. But and look who's in the lead. WrestleMania in a in a in a, a capital wrestling center. There's still several uh, new arenas to get. I wonder if you'll remember without prompt. Look, I, 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 we're not. We could all point fingers at what happened. I mean, if, if we're all pointing fingers, then perhaps the finger I'm going to point at is uh, the idea of complacency, because uh, as you might remember from last episode, um, <laughs> in, in, instead of instead of making notes, Dan was doing crosswords, and look what happened there. So let's see if that error happens. Come for back a to me. Come time. back to me. No, we, I don't think we can. I've I, I been told by the producers we can't cut back uh, to, to Dan uh, just yet. Um, however, we are running a fun little deal with you today. Usually we'll be reading out your Ultra Chats as we go through this process. However... We've got a special deal for this episode. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk. If you sign up there at the $5 amount, usually an ultra chat is $10. If you sign up to Patreon at $5, we've got a post up there where you're going to be able to get your comments and questions. I'll be reading those out in between our booking weeks. So head on over to patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk. Sign up there at the $5 level and you'll get access to that post where you'll be able to get your thoughts and comments read out on the air which is a fun old time hey why not suggest songs for for dan specifically to listen to and you know my system of a down you know you know the songs we're looking for you know you know the types so head on over to patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk to get your comments and thoughts read out on this very stream it is now time to head on over to our players laurie blake representing wednesday night nxt and dan the loser the truth later <laughs> representing nxt 2.0 <laughs> Laurie is currently in the lead. Yeah, baby. Blake of gold all the way. Mm, well, uh, Truth.0 is going to claw it back bit by bit. Um, should we just get Is that when you can move your notes, Grandad? <laughs> They're stuck to the table because of some reason. I was just trying to arrange myself. I just moved my notes. I'm just so away. thrown by. Oh. This man over there was supposed to be my friend. Mm. D.A.D. And now he's just calling me a loser, helping you along the way. Absolutely outrageous. Top 10 anime betrayals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, are you sure you'd like to load the save data? Yes, I am. How about that? So now sure. we're, at the, we're at the email screen. It's time for us to get ready. Um, yeah, pop them on. What are you going to listen to? I'm going to listen to The Men Singers. The Men Singers? The Men Singers. We're continuing with a, a stretch of bands that sound completely made up. Yep. Lovely. Uh, I guess, uh, what, what? The Men Singers. The, the Men Singers. It's Lovely. real. Crack on. You. Get seven minutes on your clock. Give See him a little countdown. It's you that's to do a countdown, mate. No, it's not you. Oh, wait, it is me who has to do a countdown. Come on. Crap. <laughs> Remember the format. We're <laughs> gone. Just because you're losing now doesn't mean you could just forget. I'm going to throw the whole game. <laughs> right. Here we are. Seven minutes on the See clock. You are you ready, producers? Yep. Three, two, one. Hit it. Okay. Candice, sorry, thanks for the title rematch. Uh, type quicker, Candice. It's a little disappointed, but that's on me. Oh, yeah. Neither of us can remember <laughs> what we've booked, so we're going to have to have a little look. And I've got an email from Logan Call. I think you should put me in a match with LA Knight. Trust me on this. Didn't I just finish a feud with you and LA Knight? Um, uh, fine, no chance, Logan. Sod you. Um, actually, that's probably a mistake. I could have made it a tag team. Uh, exit and booking. Oh, well, oh, yes, it's a shake-up time. Oh, are you choking me? So we've got Robodope using at least one fighter superstar in a match increases its quality. Instant spa day, select a superstar with less than 50%. I mean, this is, it's already, when you've got a gold, it's already uh, uh, an easy pick. But when you've got a gold, th those two are crap. This one, double your current budget after your next show. Yes, please. 
thank you so much. So if I'm smart about this, I can book a middle budget show um, and do well. Okay, ensure a least popular available bruiser in a match this week and I get free episodes in booking. That seems fine. Let's go over to the roster and see what I've got going on. Um, okay, so I've got that, which I can continue. I've got that, which I can continue. Um, okay, so we're actually in a pretty decent spot. Uh, yeah, all right, fine. Let's get cracking. So we're going to open the show. Um, let's have Charlotte. We need a new feud for Charlotte because she just finished with Candice. And she's a specialist, so she can kind of take on anybody. I know what I'll do. We'll book a triple threat match with these two because they're already in a feud. Um, although, oh, right. First things first, I'm the realist. Let's do this one. Edge, you weren't even. <sighs> Everything's probably fine. Ooh. Good night. Wait, how are we doing time wise? Christ, I've already taken two minutes. God, I'm I'm rattled. I'm visibly rattled. Um, right. God, everyone is poorly. Everyone is poorly. Everyone is poorly. Um. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do you two in a normal world title match. And I'm going to do... Um, what am I doing? You two in a table match. You two being... Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, I can afford your... Uh, pain. Um, we'll do a self promo from Charlotte to get her back above 40. And I'll do do drop on Zelina also in a match. I'm trying to keep the budget as low as possible. So let's go over here. Any power cards I want? No. But then if I if I book a really good show, I'll get more income maybe. That's how the game works, isn't it? Where's Kevin Owens? Where's Kevin Owens? Oh, it's Jive Owens. <laughs> <laughs> Completely forgot. Okay. Um, I guess this is happening, and I'm going to book you guys in a nice Extreme Rules match. I don't want your help. Go away. Go away. Um. <laughs> You're right there, babe. How long we got? Three oh, minutes. Yeah. Three minutes. Um, who is my least popular available bruiser? That's what I should do next. Least popular available bruiser is Jinder Mahal. Oh, great. In that case. Um, where am I going to pop you? They don't love it when... All right. I'm going to do this. Because then I can get a champ bonus on there, and I can get Jinder on there, get my commissioner goal. That's fine. They don't... Uh, it's two and two. That's two and two. That's fine. Jinder's a little bit poorly, but I don't care. Right, LA Knight. Have I got anything that's going to help you get healthy? Because that is chronic. Um, health bar three. Great. Go away. Get better. Love you. Um, and I'll whack in, if I, whack in an advertising promo from someone very good. Uh, who's good on the mic? Candice. Because you're not going to be used for a hot sex, so you can take it. And we'll do... We'll do a charity promo for funsies. From anybody who's not got Sammy George. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'll try a self-promo from Sammy George and see if it helps her in any way, shape, or form. And I think... Let's see how long I've got. Well, I've got two minutes left. Okay, right, we've done alright there. Free agencies. Anybody of note that I'm... Well, because my, some, here's my thinking, everybody. If I can use that angel investor thing and double my budget, then I can use this power card here, which I've been waiting to use. Fresh meat, which means that I can reduce the price of the next three agents I purchase, right? Well, that means a new injection of talent, a new sort of uh, extravagant dealio. Well, I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going to blow this feud off. Because if, what if Edge gets injured? 
and then I can't use him for a while. I'm going to blow that feud off. That's a smart choice. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I can use my, my uh, power card with that new injection of money to get a whole new set of talent. Uh, if he gets injured, I'll just release him. Ha 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 ha! Vince McMahon, I am. Um, I think... I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Unless I pop Charlotte in. No, because that's... 48 seconds left. Anything else I want to do? I've done logistics. I've got my little bonus there. Uh, what's the bonus there? Superstars with more than two star power show quality. But two level two or higher. Early. Well, I don't have those, so that's fine. I've got rivalries on the card. I'm resting LA Knight. Who's my other champ? Is it LA Knight? I think it is. Yes, it's LA Knight, so that's fine. I can't I can't book him on the show. Um, okay. I've done what I can. Any other things I want to do? Well, I'll tell you what. Ha. Eat that. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Uh, and we're coming to the end. Yeah, eight seconds left. That looks about right to me. All of that's good. Confirm. It's chopped them. Go down. 2.0. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Yeah, good. Play Marvel Snap. Oh, good. How exciting. It's good fun. Yeah. Just thought I'd have, you know, chuck some gaming into this gaming that we're doing. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we anyway. weren't doing enough of it. Well, what are we doing? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. And who knows what's happening with my thing. Grandad's going to have to take his glasses down. He is. He can't, he is. can't see. Need to... Just going to make my other headphone work because the AirPods are finickety. As you know. It's working. Right, what am I going to listen to? Because I don't want to add Why? a FBL podcast to you. Um, I'm going to go with... What was I listening to most recently? Other than uh, soundtracks for fantasy D and D. Um, do you know what? what I'm just gonna. Of, what sort of D and D fantasy? Oh, I've got my my character sheets here, so I'm playing uh, an elven you... druid at the moment. All oh, right, yeah. Nice. She's called Spuriel, which is Welsh for rubbish. All oh, right, cool. Um, so she she lives in the forest, and she. So I've been looking for like foresty fantasy music. Very nice. You know, level three. We, I. I uh, the wild shaped into a into a dire wolf for a oh. combat, mm. which was quite thrilling. Because uh, I'm circling the moon. What, what circle are you? Circle moon. The moon. Yeah, mm. which means I can do the dire wolf thing. Yeah. And because she lives in a forest, she she saw a dire wolf. Mm. It was quite spectacular, if I do say so myself. But I think what I'm going to do is put on my 2006 nostalgia playlist mm -hmm. uh, and listen to one of those. I'll just shuffle it. Well, the first song on there is "Goodbye, Mr. A." Goodbye. By the Hoosiers. Yeah, all right, yeah. How about that? Uh, and you would love us, but you knew too much. I've lost my uh, my crosswords, unfortunately. Yeah. So what I'm going to do instead is the tube map quiz. See how many I can name in seven minutes. Okay. You ready? Yeah, very good. You do that. All right, um, see you in a bit. I'll count you down. In three, two, one, go. Right. What's going on in NXT? Because I don't remember a single thing that happened in the last one. Right. Finn Balor is not happy about losing his straps, former champion. I'm enacting my rematch clause. I want a championship match against Big E. Nobody else will get a shot. That is absolutely fine, son. Uh, because you are in a feud. Small increase to his morale in that conversation. Katana Chance. Hey, Laurie. You've seen the work I've been putting in, but I know I can do more for this brand. Oh, what do you want now? Type faster, for God's sake. I've only got seven minutes. I'm ready to run a main event, and I know the fans will be excited for it. That would be... Oh, you get a main event, are you? Katana chat, you get a main event, are you? I don't think so. Oh. Oh no, a small decrease to her morale. Oh, shake up. Whenever you complete a commission or goal, you have a chance of earning a random extra power guard, a triple threat match. Well, I mean, I'm going to take this gold one, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that one, because that's really good. Right. We've got to fix things now. We've been booking shows in gyms for too long. We need to book this guy. The Capital Wrestling Center. Is that what we want? Yes. Because it's unlocked for 10 grand. We'll do that. And we're going to book it for this week. There we go. So the show so far costs this much. Let's look at the state of my terrible roster full of people. Right. Manage my roster. Right. <laughs> Seven stamina on Asuka. That's very good. Basically, we need a week of rest for everyone. Uh, and the only people who are really... Do you know what? She could have had that main event. 
<laughs> she could have had that bloody main event. She's got 61 stamina. Right, Finn could do something. Uh, he's got a big E rivalry. We've got Hayes on the go with T-Bar. We need to get Rodriguez and Chance going. We could have done this main event match, you know. Uh, Baszler and Sky. Okay. So we need to rest. Who do we need to rest? We need to rest... We definitely need to rest Asuka. What am I doing? Do, 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 do. The bigger they are, real steel. Four minutes. We're okay. Uh, there's nothing to rest people here, so we're just going to have to book the show and rest people. Let's go. So we could also pay off the Bailey Asuka feud now with a very real risk that Asuka gets injured here. Uh, but maybe I want to risk that. I could also just. I actually am going to burn off the haze and thingy. Um, we're going to do a submission match to blow off that feud. I think. Um, what's my oh, what's my commission goal? I've not even read that. That's fine. You want a hell in a cell on just like Point weekly down. TV? Are you insane? Point oh, aren't you insane? Submission. T Bar and Hayes. Save that match. Well, let's put some matches in because we need we need definitely need some matches. Who else has got enough stamina to actually have a match this week? <laughs> Raquel Rodriguez. You get a match against uh... Face up against your tag team partner necessarily. Is that there's no negative benefit to doing that, Luke? What's that? If you face someone off against their tag team partner? Are they both baby faces? Yeah. Oh, that'll, that'll, that'll backfire. Oh, right, okay. What? In the pause between what? songs. How can I you heard hear you... me? How can you hear me? In the pause between songs, I heard you asking Luke. I asked, a, I asked a question about the game that mm. I've played oh, twice. Oh, so you asked for extra twice, actually. You played twice. I've played a whole, this is just a whole two this times. Is just I think I actually need to bring in people. I think I need to sign a free agent. I need a free agent lady. I could sign Natalia. She's both she's a face. Oh, I could sign Mia Yim. Oh, she's permanent, though. I want a. I want a bad lady. I want a bad lady. You get five weeks of Shinsuke as well for 45k. Can I afford that? Who have I got him to go against? This is the problem with you don't remember what you're doing. I need someone who's got who's actually available to have a match. Finn can have a match, so he could do a match against Shinsuke. And then we've got something cooking. Oh my god, two minutes and I've not booked anything. Okay, we're gonna panic book stuff now. We're going to hire... Oh no, we'll get this guy for five weeks for like nine grand. Holy shit. There we go. Right, so you're going to have a match against Finn Balor. No. I mean, as we've got that ability, we might as well book that as well. <coughs> right. Ask is resting. Shayna is resting. Katana versus Ego, one-on-one. -on -one. Does anyone else have any stamina? So we could have Johnny versus Champa. I think we risk it on Johnny versus Champa, to be fair. Uh, and then we can swap the things around, can't we? How do you swap the bookings? That's L3. It's a hell in a cell, so I'm going to put it there. Um, okay, and then we want some promos. I want to try and further this feud. Uh, I think I could have Bailey do a promo calling out Asuka. And then Asuka, we might grow that feud a little bit. God, this is hard. Okay, I've got some time now. I've booked a promo. I'm going to have a look at the, the roster page, see if there's anyone I can sign. Manage that roster. All of these are far too rich for my blood. Uh, I don't really want any of these. Maybe Tyler Bate? I could do Grayson Waller to go against Ilya, actually. Ilya's a specialist. Grayson Waller's a bruiser. I hate Grayson Waller. 
No, I'm gonna leave it for this week and just be happy with the show I vaguely booked. And we just hope that nobody gets injured. That's what we're gonna hope. So we're gonna confirm that booking. Is that fine? I don't know. I forget how the game works. Expensive show. Right, we're done. Mild bit of panic. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thirty-six point seven percent. Everyone is it almost injured. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Some absolute b bottom rung stamina <laughs> stats there. <laughs> I oh. had more pain than I thought I did. Yeah. I had some that I was like, what? Are you well? And the answer was no, they were not well. Um, Luke, I am going to make some notes here. Uh, I'm just going to pop a quick one here. Luke assists two. A functionality question for the game. Learn by, learn by doing. I'm not going to learn by doing. <laughs> What um, about me turning up for the second month in a row, not knowing anything more about the game? <laughs> and you think I'm going to learn by doing? You went home and played the game basically non-stop. One evening, I played the game. I haven't seen you in the office ever since. You've been doing nothing but playing at home. Oh yeah, barely working. Um, right. So I was in a very similar position. Mm. La Knight had seven stamina. That is unacceptable. I don't know what I did to make him no. <laughs> hurt so much. Um, but we are going to play the game now. So we began with Indy Hartwell versus Rhea Ripley. Yep. Oh, what did you pick for your um, shake-up card? Uh, I took the Golden Gen Generous Commissioner one. If I finish a Commissioner goal, I get a random power-up card. Oh, that's, that's a good one. I got an Angel Investor. So if I do well here, I'll double my Ooh, income. your money. Yeah. That's, that's great. Um, just on this show? Or I think it's a double whatever I've got left. But it might just be double the income of the show. I don't wow, know. We'll find out at the end. Absolutely running away. You're head in the cells every week. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with my <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven stamina. stamina. Indy Hartwell versus Rhea Ripley. Uh, because they're already in a rivalry. I thought a rivalry tables match to open it up, see oh, what you're happens. you're blowing off a feud as well. I am blowing off a feud. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, good. Okay, well, that's how I wanted to begin the week. <laughs> We're off to a fine start. And Charlotte did a nice self-promo. But only one. People are sick of her. Right, so then I went with a mid card to try and get as many people on. My commissioner goal was to get my lowest ranked bruiser on there. That's Jinder Mahal. Get oh, right, him on the okay. show. Um, also, I spent ages looking for... I, it said Rude, uh, feud with Owens, level one. I spent ages looking for Kevin Owens. <laughs> Turns out it's Jive. Yeah, Jive. Um, I completely <laughs> forgot about Jive. Um, let's see how we do in this fatal four-way. Jinder wins it. Jinder wins it. Good for you, Jinder. I, hey, that's that's fine for hey, me. Mahal. Because I've got a, a new... Uh, that rivalry grew. I've got a new rivalry there. And it didn't outperform the opener. That is everything we wanted to see. Okay. Uh, advertising. Uh, oh, sorry, Candice. But look, that's an hey, extra money. nine grand to yeah, go well into done. the pot yeah. to double. So really, if we worked it out, that's 18 grand. Thank yeah. you, Candice. Candice out there. Shilling the dick pills. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Down ah, in popularity for Blue Candace. Chew. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Turn that Johnny Gargan no into, into a, a Johnny, Johnny Gargan. Gargan. Oh, God, yes! <laughs> <laughs> probably oh, probably don't take pills from someone who brands themselves as a poison pixie. Yeah, That's that is a yeah. good idea. Exactly. I mean, she also believes in fairy tales, so she'll yeah. buy anything. Good. Okay, uh, mid card, Dewdrop versus Queen Zelina. They're also in a rivalry, just a normal match. Don't want to do anything too too big. Just wanted to get something on the card. Let's see how we do. Grow the rivalry? Probably not. Oh, it oh, did. did. It did. Okay. Very good. I'll take that. That works for me. A little self promo from uh, Croydon's favourite son, uh, daughter, Sammy George. Uh, Sammy did... George with two boys' names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sammy George um, was so bad at promoting herself that she's lost to popularity. <laughs> yes, she, she went out there and she said she was from Croydon. Yeah, and everyone went, oh, never <laughs> oh, mind. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, so that trial went badly. Uh, and then in the main event, Edge is on 29 stamina, right? So here's yep. my game plan. Well, I, this is a, a level two rivalry. I'd either have to stall it for weeks or let's say Edge gets injured here because I wanted to have my most popular people on the, in sure. the main event to, to get a good show. If Edge wins this, yep. he might get injured. Mm. So I've got a long, a long game strategy. So we'll have to wait and see how this goes. I just won it. A rivalry complete and a four injured, week injury. Injured. But a four and a half star classic four and a half star from classic the edge. For your injured champion. We love well done, to edge. see it. Living on the edge. <laughs> Thanks, babes. <laughs> um, classic edge. Right, okay. So 
Um, do you know what? That's gone the way I kind of wanted it to go. Yeah, How, how's yeah. your week gone? Get Let's ready find for out. this. This is a bunch of people who are broken, mm -hmm. uh, but they're having a hell in a cell. Why not? <laughs> well, yeah, because 41 stamina and a hell in a cell exactly what you need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is fine. We're going to rest, Finn. Like, I'm trying to rest. There. I'm trying to give everyone a bit of a rest and a refresh. That's fair. A, a rest. A re yeah. <laughs> in a hell in a cell. What's but it's because um... I'm resting Big E. Ah, he's in the feud with Finn Balor. Gotcha. So we're going to kill Finn Balor here. And so then Finn Balor can have four weeks off while Big E solo builds this rivalry. <laughs> Nothing but call out. Nothing but call out promos. Where in the hell are you, Finn? Remind Where are you, man? Remind me of Joel Wheeler's backstory. Joel Wheeler has just appeared. Just appeared. He's just brand appeared. New. He's just brand new. Okay. I just needed someone to be a patsy. So um, what do we think of him? What, what, what has he done? What, what, let, let's make a backstory for him. I don't know about Joey, Joel Wheeler. He is... What, what do we think he does? Hello. Uh, a, a, an angel in my ear has just whispered that if you want to leave a comment on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk, the five, the five US dollar tier, you can give us the backstory for Joel Wheeler. Yeah, you that do. is a brilliant yeah, idea. That's it. Much better that you make the content. Yes, I think so. Read it out. I think so. So let's see what happens in this match. Hey, that's how I got Truth.0. And if any, I couldn't think of it in the moment. So. Finn Balor's the winner. In a mediocre, mediocre opener. And he's fine. And he's, and he's fine. fine. Level four rivalry with Bailey and Asuka. This is what we wanted. Hello. Asuka gets her rest. And now they're Bailey just going to do her work. They're just going to what? Sit there for the next four weeks? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I think enjoy so. nice catering. Well, they might enjoy nice catering and they might, you know, they might just do a sort of midweek pay per view. <laughs> That's fair. Well, yeah. at the very well, just, NXT. You know, like a, a sort of, yeah. It's more 2.0. The, right, the right. third Tuesday of the month. Yeah. Third, when the, well, third Wednesday of the month will be a pay-per-view. There, there you we go. go. That's pretty good. Katana Chance! Katana Chance. Katana Chance wanted a main event match. Um, and, and I said no. Okay. And then I realized that as one of the only people with good stamina, yeah. she totally could have had a main event match. Right. Um, so instead, I've just hurt her morale yeah. for no real reason. I just pissed off Logan Paul. Yeah. Oh, right. Because he said, I want to fight with LA Knight. And I was like, well, you just had a feud. So no. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Yeah, fortunately, Finn Balor also wanted to fight with Big E. So I want, ah. I want the sh next shot of the champion. Oh, okay, that's fine for me. Useful, because yeah. I need that for the next pay per view. But EO's poorly. We're going to simulate this and see where we get to. One, two, EO wins. In a totally okay Everything's match. Fine. It was better than the opener, though, which is not great. Ah. And this had a rivalry in it, so I should have put this first. DIY. That should have been your main event. Yeah, that could have been the main event. But the main event is a submission match for people who put the three star rivalry. Is it a title match? Uh, no. So we've got 18 stamina and 26 stamina. Oh god. We're gonna see where we end up. It's only a normal match. This could be fine. That's fine. They're both fine. And they're, they're okay! Utterly fine. And now this is the blow off the feud. Oh, I see. Off. I see. Yeah. Okay, right. good Good idea. Good idea. Do you know where they want to go next? No idea. We're gonna work that out. Well done, on T Bar. The and again, yeah, this great match. Given that you had so many people on red stamina there, not a single one injured. Is I very have completely successful. lucked out, yeah. You but now want... I've got the. The problem is, it just creates the same problem for next week where everyone's <laughs> still injured, and I've got to rebook another show. Um, Whack has a match report on there. Uh, I want to go on, down then. and see why things were so bad. Um, performance. They just couldn't be. They couldn't be bothered. Maybe they were knackered. Yeah, that was. You rolled badly on performance here. Well, that we did okay. Match up. I mean, that's that's what you want from the beginning of a, a feud, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Um, and they did fine as well. Yeah, that was happy. We were happy with that. And then, yeah, that scans. All of that scans. Perfect. Title match rivalry roll. Yeah, good. Happy. Right. Uh, and then, how do I switch to me in this one? So what have I got? Why do you suck? You just hate each other. That's fine. <laughs> Two unpopular people having a match. Uh, we need to rest Finn Balor real bad. Oh, 17. Bad. Yeah, 17. Yikes. How's Eo doing? Oh, she only took two. Yeah, Eo's, Eo's strong. She's amazing. Eo needs a rest now. Uh, these boys, <laughs> bless them, they need a rest. Again, though, they didn't take much in the way of damage. No. Fair enough. And then this oh, he guy. Did. Yeah, rivalry complete. T-Bar did. He's down. Yeah, he's down, but that's fine. We can rest him now. Move him on to greener pastures. <laughs> Kill him. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> That's it. You've you've had you've done your use to me off to the knackers yard with your T bar. <laughs> oh, but I can work harder. No T bar. It's the knackers yard with you. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right then. Let's see then. Let's see what the damage is. So let's go. Uh, plus forty four thousand fans. That's, That's fine. One hundred one hundred and thirty seven. Profits. Three profits. We huge. Whoa! 
massive. Okay, that's probably the double then. Other yeah. revenue bonus, 254. Um, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Ticket sales pay out. Yeah, that scans. I wasn't sure what it would be. That has That is wonderful news for NXT Truth.0. Oh no, Edge's injury looked really bad. So that rivalry between Edge and Bobby Lashley finally got settled. Edge proving he's the boss. Oh, yeah. I like tonight's NXT 2.0. Keep it coming. Wow, Indy Hartwell looks unstoppable. Is it just a lucky streak? Probably. Well, then why didn't she pull her finger out? Uh, <laughs> kind of average match, but there was no love loss between Orton and Mahal. It made things interesting. Yo, NXT 2.0. Know who deserves a championship on her waist? Indy Hartwell. Perhaps if she tries. Um, Charlotte Flair doing good work on the mic tonight. Kept the audience entertained. Candice LeRae trying to sell her stuff tonight, but at least it was fairly entertaining. Absolutely wild. Candice doing the dick pills. <laughs> Candice um, LeRae. Cand <laughs> I'm trying to work in blue in there somewhere, but I can't. You're taking care of it for me, I suppose. Absolutely wild. Edge had an incredible match with Bobby Lashley. None of this is helpful. It's just telling me I did a good no. job. Yes, yes. Thanks very much. But All the right. key the key detail here at the moment is 1373. So, crack on. Boop. Continue. Okay. Yeah. That is that is uh that is not as bad as I feared it could be for me. So profit as well. I made profit. I made money! Yes! yes. Come on! Now I just need to make all the people's limbs work. <laughs> <laughs> what power card are you going to get is the wonder. Yeah, this is it. I mean, Champa looks worn out, he says there. He does, yeah. Joey Wheelie, the newest superstar on NXT. Never heard of him. Bit of a squash Ooh. match. Yeah, for Someone sure. forget to erase the whiteboard. Johnny Gargano to Matthew Champa. Again, that rivalry is supposed to be over. Oh, oh dear, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Dear, dear me. Do you know what? You auto-filled them doing that. Isn't it? Yeah. You auto-filled? You can yeah. auto-fill? It would, like sometimes if people are in a rivalry, it puts them in. It does. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So, oh well, we'll see where we get to. Um, hey, NXT. I mean, either way, he's right. poorly. So yeah. he, needs, he needs a rest. This is it. I can move. I can now move one of them on, whichever one needs to, I guess. That was the first. The uh, first round was mostly me. Fact, I spent most of my thing just trying to remember, remember. where I was, and yeah. then I booked everything in two minutes. <laughs> Maybe we should take notes. Yeah. I'm, well, uh, yeah. This is. This would be it. Okay, so you got free advertising. Um, yes, I did, because I managed to put Jinder Mahal in a match, which Very was uh, good. nice. So I'll take that. Um, oh! Ooh. Oh! Matron. Because I completed a seasonal challenge one-on-one -on -one champ, I get the network special card. Oh! Network special. Oh, no, we know how that goes. Mm, how the turn okay. the table. Oh, I got another one. Oh, fix, Matt. Why am I writing these down? Just have <laughs> yeah, something fair. to do. Here we go. We'll I've find out what your special one was. Free advertising. Okay. Free arena booking. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. That's good. That'll come in that real handy. In my pay-per-view. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's your extra card then, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at your budget. I know. Look I at know. your budget. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the Nothing. fucking network special card. <laughs> yeah, but I've got multiple injured yeah. people. Oh, yeah. That's true. My world champ is currently on the shelf for four mm. weeks for the entire pay-per-view cycle. Um, look at that, Edge and Charlotte. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll go and regroup. Yes. And in the meantime, we'll send you over to uh, DAD, who who might have some, you know, pearls of wisdom to share with one of us. Thank you all so much, and thank you for the uh, the wonderful live chat and your comments that are coming in thick and fast on patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk. Everyone is, of course, very pleased to see that Dan has brought back one of the classic rivalries of 2017, Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. It's, it's what everyone really, really wanted to see again. Um, but yeah, some uh, some interesting plays within that. Uh, obviously, Laurie was talking about sending uh, Dijak onto greener pastures. I wonder if those greens are the gowns that he'll be in in his hospital bed as he is recovering from his ouchy soreness. But yeah, an interesting week for both of our teams. We do have comments in from uh, you, our wonderful Patreon backers. Rich Nor, here's the professor. The professor needs to show the amateur. How it's done and take that number one spot while Sean is saying to Let's Go Dan, the whole Dan show. Kayla Maldonado says the draw. Laurie Blake needs to bring out El Fakador if he's going to win that dub. And Ollie Rodriguez Dolman here says, um, I'll, I'll save Ollie's one because it's a bigger question for now. Uh, Nathan Jones here says, I'm eagerly awaiting the reveal of Dan's jumper. I mean, oh. wearing a lovely jacket. There was actually a comment I did see in the live chat, Dan, that said that the microphone is covering up your V. So, um, well, that's fine, because I shaved it. And it's a bit patchy, so <laughs> probably for the best, if we're honest. 
yeah. Uh, Dylan yeah. says, uh, hello from Dan's favorite city of Boston. Ah, oh, Harvard. Boston. Uh, to both, and Luke, uh, can you detail what your on-screen management office would look like? Would it be a normal corporate office like Trips and Steph, or on wheels like Mick Foley? So let's send that on over to our boys. What does your offices look like in your GM world? Um, I certainly would have very plush mm. chairs, chintz armchair maybe, or, or like, or it would be like Scandi hugger minimalism sort of uh, a lovely rug. Yeah. Oh, scented candle. Oh, really nice. Yeah. Lovely. It'd be a beige paradise. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. I think my guy just walks the street shouting things. And every so often going, Help! Help! I don't know what's going on! Has anyone seen the GM? Oh, he's sort he's of out there. there. He's screaming something about Asuka being injured. He's, th he's throwing trash at a <laughs> star. You're a seven stab and I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! What am I going to fix this? I need to arrest them, but I need to have them in the matches! Maybe leave him to it. <laughs> Makes no sense! How how can you book a show if they're all if they're all dead? How do you book the show? I can't afford to just hire in loads of Joey Wheelers. Can I? There you That's go. fine. That's what I'd be like. Finally, everyone is seeing what my and Pete's world has looked like uh, <laughs> for the last year and a half. Uh, Mark here said the lesser opponent, assisted by a person of authority to prop them up over a more competent opponent, truly a wrestling arc on the Wednesday Night War. Come on, Dan, we believe in you 100%. Our baby face to Laurie's heel. School them all, Professor. How am I, how am I the heel? No, I'm going to double that. This is a double baby face show. The true heel, the Pete and Luke. Yeah. What? What have I done? Playing favourites. Cheated. I have not played favourites. That is outlandish. Nudge. I, I think Dan, ah. also, I think Dan calling shenanigans on a wrestling-based show. <laughs> like, come on. They were inevitable. I was simply answering a question. I'm a helpful person, Dan. If someone asks me a question, I'm going to answer it if I know the answer. Wow. Uh, well, the game doesn't tell you, unfortunately. I think that's the what thing. was the question. I only the question you... was quite literally: if I book two, if I book two people who are in a tag team against each other, yeah, is that bad? And the oh, answer no. was the answer was more as they were both baby faces. Yeah, that's, that's it, yeah, bad. That's, yeah, that's that's yeah. That's all right. I'll allow it this time. I'll I'll, I'll take my number of Lucas assists back down to one. Lucas assists. Yeah. The, the assists you've given. I like that if, drink. I'm like, saying if we get I like to the orange flavor. I was gonna say. That's what I just said. I like that drink. <laughs> if we get to three Lucas assists, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna we get to make an advert with Lara Croft. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Is I'm that gonna, too deep a cut? I'm gonna win to Pete, and we're gonna I'm gonna get a power card. Uh, or we could sponsor a series, a, a poorly received series of Big Brother. Mm. That's another deep cut for, for Lucas. There you go. Uh, Darren here says I'm gonna be watching this while the live stream of your Crown Jewel watch along happens. So it means you're not gonna be joining us for the Crown Jewel party at the Long Arm Pub and Brewery. Tickets available uh, in the video description and being posted by our moderators. Uh, Arnie the Ghost here uh, would like Dan to listen to Love Bites. And their track "Holy War" because of his feminist agenda. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed as much as I will. So, have you written that one down, yes, Dan? Yes, I have. So I'll, I'll, I'll put it up immediately next. Uh, and I'll do this one here from Lawson, who just said, uh, "Hello from St. Louis. This is for both Dan and Laurie. How dare you both not sign Tucker or Slapjack? Don't give me the old they're not in the game excuse. You can create them. How do you explain this major oversight?" Uh, also, Dan should listen to Jeff Goldblum by Mateel. M-A-T-T-I-E-L. Okay, Jeff Goldblum by who? Uh, Mateel. M-A-T-T-I-E-L. Got it. Mm. Uh, and uh, Jeremy here says, Dan, really need to get it together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just a general note for my life, uh, isn't it? More than anything else. Like, paid money to say that. <laughs> if, if you want to get your comments read out on the air, head on over to wrestletalk.com, no, patreon.com forward slash wrestletalk and leave a comment on the Patreon post that is there. I'm just going to talk over these two clowns now. Uh, and get in your comments and I'll be reading them out in the in-between times when they are booking their weeks. We're about to get into week two of this pay-per-view cycle. Will Laurie be able to overcome all of the hurt business? Oh, Jesus. Oh. I like it. And how will Dan spend all that money? Let's find out. Let's head on over to our players. I think I'm, the, the way I'm intending to overcome all this hurt business is lots of uh, icy hot. Lots of icy. I'm heat. just gonna, I'm just gonna slather everyone in it. Do you remember on um, Total Divas when Natalia's storyline was that she accidentally rubbed icy heat on her asshole? No. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the entire storyline was. Well, because like lots of wrestlers wear like deep. Yeah. They, they they put deep heat on to make their pecs pop. Yeah. Um, some are very bad for it on the British scene. You can smell them a mile off. But uh, <laughs> I won't say who. Um, but yeah, like you get that. That is quite a common thing for wrestlers to be around mm. a lot of that. But I don't know how it gets around. Well, th- I think this was the intrigue of the episode. Not a lot went on on Total Divas, I'll be honest with you. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get ourselves to the next screen so that we can uh, begin. We're on uh, San Antonio, Texas, three weeks of Hell in a Cell. Oh my God, what, what we, we do? Uh, what... He... Oh, go on. If he doesn't offer me a Hell in a Cell at Hell in a Cell. Uh, you're going to gonna have to. Yeah. You're going to have to. Um, crack on your headphones, what are you going to listen to? I'm going to listen to... What is this? Hot Mulligan. <laughs> I, I think I had a Hot Mulligan last bonfire night. Um... Mm. Lovely. Okay. So, eyes on the prize. Truth point O. You ready there? Producer L3. Two, one. Seven minutes begins now. And uh, immediately, my contract with NXT 2.0 is at the end of the week. I'll be interested in staying. <laughs> I've got loads of money. How are you doing? Um, superstar. Oh, you're optimistic. Okay, fine. So you can take, you'll probably take a lower amount of money. Um, not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. So I've got Jinder for a little while. Boss, I'm a proposition. How about we have a partnership? You have my back. I'll have yours. Ooh, I don't know about that. Um, fine. Why not? Make Charlotte happy. Hey, welcome to Fall Guy every week. Whatever MX matches, I want a win. Well, that's kind of on you, babe. Although I do have a, um, free crew booking. That's not worth it right now. So I might leave the submission. First things first, I'm going to be an absolute heel. And I'm going to take my injured champion. Um, am I absolutely sure I want to do this? Where's Randy? Oh, he's there. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to uh, add 91,000 Moolah. Then I'm going to go in the free agent, see who we've got. Oh, we've got Seth. We've got KO. Um, any other permanents? I could get Dolph on a permanent. Edge was a, I could basically do a like for like replacement there with Dolph Ziggler. Um, for half the price. I could get Seth, Dolph, and Kevin Owens. Do I need them though, is the question. Um, maybe I'll have a look at that in a minute. What do I want my next? Hang on, that's a good question. Uh, who is, what is Bobby Lashley, the bruiser? So if I can get a good guy fight, well, that's a good guy fighter is right there, isn't it? Um, do you know what? Let's book the show and see. Because in the main event, I'm going to do something just for me. Um, hang on, I won't do that just yet. We'll do a call out promo. We'll do Randy Orton calling out Jinder Mahal. That'll give them both a little stamina boost. Um... I'm going to use my fresh meat card now because uh, sign free agents. I'm going to use some of that money immediately. Do I want to get Dolph Ziggler or Kevin Owens? Um, where are we time wise? Four minutes. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. Seth. Or Dolph. I mean, they're about the same. One of them I'll need to rebuy in a little bit, but we'll do Seth for now to keep that money in. Ten, ten weeks is a decent amount of time to do that. Um, I'll do Kevin on a permanent basis, and I'll do. Uh, 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 what do I need? Class. Okay. Lady Giant. Uh, cruiser. Bruiser, bruiser. Bruiser, bruiser. Fighter, fighter. I need another good guy fighter. Oh, and I've got, I've got Jive. Um, I'm kind of okay, actually. For I could get another bad guy fighter if I... Is there another bad guy fighter? Bad guy fighter, bad guy fighter, bad guy fighter. No. Well, all right. In that case, I'll just go for someone cheaper. I'll get... Um, I had 10 weeks of Ron Break. I don't need him. I'll get... Yeah, I'll get Gigi in. 
Um, that's the three, because then I can, if I need to, I can sign a legend as well, because look at that healthy, healthy budget. Right. Main event. Uh, we're going to get ourselves... Kevin Owens. Um, we'll start a little rivalry there, I think. We'll try to, anyway. Wait, we're gonna take. Oh no, it's fine. I might have gone a bit too uh, too hasty there. I'm, 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 I'm kind of flailing a little bit. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Time wise, where are we? Two minutes, bloody Nora. Okay. Um, we'll whack Charlotte in with Dewdrop and Zelina. And. Um, we'll comfort Candace in because they've just finished a feud. Actually. How is... Oh, Rhea's got much more stamina. That's much better. We'll do that. Um, and I'll have... I'll leave Selena to get better. Um... World title? No. Whoa, whoa, no. Um, and how are we doing on... I mean, those two. <laughs> I mean, it's tempting. But I don't think I will. Um, okay, calm down, then. You're okay. You've got time. Ah, oh, that's boring. Um, no, that's what we'll do. I'm gonna call out LA Knight, and I'm going to book Jive and Bobby in. Uh, Extreme rules match? Have they got the stamina for that? Yes, they kind of have. I'm going to make that the opener. And I'm going to book uh, Candice LeRae against Sammy George just to make sure that that opener matches there. And I'll do um, 36 seconds. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think that might be it, you know. I'll give you a I'm gonna be on a very good at promos. You're alright. I'll give you a charity promo to do. Uh, am I happy with that? Um, I might grab a health bar just to have it. I think that's alright for where I'm at. Uh, complete five challenges. Nine seconds. Right. Logistics done. Got some matches in there. They're a bit samey, but I'm sure it'll be alright. Confirm okay. Hello, hello. How are you? Yeah, very well. Song I was listening to was called "Shh." <laughs> Golf is on. <laughs> Why ever not? Uh, well, the song I'm going to listen to immediately is "Love Bites" by Holy or Holy War by Love Bites. Oh, the arena costs are doubled next week. Oops. What? Enjoy. Is that now? So when I'm booking now, it's going to be doubled. That's so annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Fun. You horrible butt. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, seven minutes on the clock. Get out the way, microphone. I don't need, oh, for God's sake. Triple H, due to arena. Yes, thank you. Bala versus Wheeler. It's okay to match up rule breakers against each other or to have a contest between fan favorites through whether the audience will always respond best to rule breakers against fan favorites. Yes, I get that. Thank you. Or do I? Sometimes you have to put yes, blah, blah, blah. Hey, boss, so a proposition for you. How about you and I have ourselves a little partnership in the next few weeks? You have my back and I'll have yours. What do you want from that? Just tell them. Why don't you write that in the first email? Fans will love it. I'll love it. What else could you ask for? So how about we win a match and be in my corner? Ooh, I don't know how to do that, but that sounds fun. I'm an impartial. I mean, yeah, all right, fine, sure. I don't mind that. Is that going to backfire on me? I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit of a... Don't call me by my surname as my first name, Shane. Oh my god, you're a bit of a master on the mic. What do you want? You want to do a promo? Uh, you want a promo? How many promo slots I got? Three. How many promos did I want to do? 
two. Okay, yeah, you can have one. Okay, have a... Are you joking me? What am I gonna... They're gonna die! Why are you doing this to me? Oh, what are you giving me? Oh, I mean, that's good though, isn't it? All right, okay, someone's going in the steel cage. <laughs> Get in the cage, idiots. Right, first of all, Shani Baz, where are you? There you are. Uh, oh, you got a level one rivalry just with Katana. That's quite good. Uh, so I feel like we're going to do this, and you're just going to do a little... We're going to call that Katana, because Katana's got stamina. And then we can choose whether we follow the tag team line or the Katana line down the line. Put that. Uh, and in fact, I might open the show with that. Uh, right, then we're going to have uh, Beige, he of low stamina, call out Phineas to build their rivalry. Uh, and then we are going to have, there was one other thing I was going to do. I might have Babyface Ilya Dragunov call out Bad Boy Tomasa Champa to try and get a feud going between those two. Uh, Tommy Champs, done. Okay, done the important stuff. Who's talking? We'll come back to the matches in a minute. Uh, show logistics, right. Oh, 40k, well, that means we're, we're not going... Ooh. We're going to go here, because I don't want to spend too much money. So we're just doing the concert hall. We'll just take the hit for that, I guess. Right, who's actually well enough to have a match this week? <laughs> um... Oh, Carmella's buggered. Raquel is boned. Uh, Raquel could have a match against Baszler. But Katana's better to have a match against Baszler. So that might at least build, double build that. You can do a promo and a match, can't you? No, you can't. Oh. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Everyone is fucked. Everyone is fucked. Oh, no. Everyone is boned. Look how badly Joe Wheel is going to be in the main event at this at this rate. Uh, manage roster. Let's see if we can sign some people. Seventy k for that. He's a bruiser. He could go against. Who could I put him against? He's a bruiser. Who's, what's Johnny? Johnny's a specialist, so I could put Bron Breaker against Johnny eventually. For 10 weeks as well. Do Julius is permanent. It's too much money as well. Oh. I might go big on Brom Breaker. I need to get something cooking. I'm gonna. Have I got a power card to do it? Oh, maybe a legend whisper. Gotta book the show. Could just get Goldberg. <laughs> Could get Razor Ramon as well. Oh, uh, okay, well we're gonna do that. We're gonna legend whisper because we need somebody. And we're gonna get Razor. Panic decisions. Opening match is gonna be the immensely popular Razor Ramon versus Jonathan. Let's see if we get any. Make it a title match. Yep, fine. Uh, what's our main event? Well, we didn't spend any money there, so we could also then get someone for the money. I need to oh, turn brawn heel. How are you a babyface? How are you a babyface, Commander Aziz? That doesn't make any sense! Um, okay. Let's put the show, Laurie. Do, 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 do. Oh. 
Mellow versus Champa. We're just going to have to risk it. Um, I am really struggling under the weight of everyone being fucking injured. This. I think we're going to have to skip that Commissioner goal because I've already got that card anyway. So. And then we're just going to have a random ass match between Katana and Bailey. Not a strong week of TV for me there, I don't think. But we need to get something done, and everyone is just teetering on the brink of injury at this exact point in time. So I don't really know what to do. Got one second left. Lock that in. All right. Oh, no, what happened? They're just all so, they're so fucked. <laughs> they're just all dead. It's really, mine are pretty poorly they're still like, too. No, but like real bad. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like to the point it's getting really hard to book a show because oh. there are not enough people. Yeah, that's a, it's a bit tricksy, isn't it? Yeah. It's, a bit, it's a bit tricksy. So I think we're taking a dive this week is what we're doing. Interesting. Next week. Well, ne we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Um, Just can I say quickly, Love Bites by Holy War or the other way around, Holy War by Love Bites, was very good. It was like Gwen Stefani mm. vocals, but over like a hard mode guitar hero track. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just a lot of this business. Um, went on too long. Could right. have been a three minutes. But, you know, I enjoyed myself very much. And thank you kindly for the recommendation. Uh, meanwhile, we've had, some, uh, we've had a superstar shakeup oh, in, uh, in the roster. Oh, yeah? Um, someone is absent. You'll oh. find out why in the coming weeks. Um, so, we open the show with an Extreme Rules match between an established rivalry, Jive Owens versus Robert Roode, because they're both doing okay on stamina. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping this might row the rivalry. So, let's try it. How about that? Bobby Roode wins it. Yeah, that's level three. We'll take it. Thank very you very nice. kindly. Only okay, but that's fine. It's Jive Owens. Uh, he's got a ceiling. We're going to continue this <laughs> incredible feud. Uh, rivalry goes to level two. Happy as a clam. Thank you, Randall. Jinder was a bit poorly. He needed a rest. Um, Candice needs to get her reps in and Sammy George is there. Mm -hmm. So why not? Uh, I, I'm hoping for more than a half a star. A little... Oh! Two. Two. That's pretty good. Exceeds expectations. Well done, you. Got a new member of the roster, Seth Rollins, who's called out oh LA God. Knight and it hasn't worked. Is LA Knight a face? I think he's a face. On... Oh, well. I guess <laughs> we'll find out. Um, oh, and Kevin Owens has joined. My God, all right. As well, why not? So I, I, I felt sad. Maybe one day we'll do a team of Owens and Owens, Owens Co. Uh, but right now, I'd like him to begin, if he may, a feud with Logan Paul. The lineups are fine. Logan's stamina is a bit wonky, but if I can get the rivalry off the ground, this could do us wonders. Logan gets the win. No, no rivalry, rivalry, but an okay I match. I like you thought his stamina was a bit wonky and it was 35. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I have anyone above 20 currently. Well, yeah, I mean, lower than 40 and they start getting a bit worried. But um, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. All of my guys, yeah. boned. Boned. I had to avoid the Not commissioner. Boned. I had to avoid the commissioner goal this week because it was like, oh. why didn't you just why didn't you just put someone in a steel cage? <laughs> it's like, no thanks, mate. <laughs> I'd like a roster at the yeah, end of this. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do mine either. I think no. I can't remember what mine was, but the, the, the reward wasn't good enough. So I was like, never mind. A uh, little charity promo from Wesley. Does it okay? Get some more fans. Why not? And for the main event, uh, we've got a rivalry going there, and there's a rivalry between Dewdrop uh, and Zelina. Very good. Getting Charlotte in the main event felt like a good opportunity to, um, yep. you know, try and pop a rating a little bit. So let's have a little look and see how we do. Indy's the winner. Oh, Indy's the new champ. Oh, Indy's the champ. And it was great. Well, look, the rivalry didn't grow, but. I've got a championship in one of my women's rivalries, which I think is a, I think is a That's bonus. That's good, yeah. That's worked for me. Welcome so, to yeah. Piss Poor Week of NXT TV. Mm -hmm. Ch Tomasa Champa, stamina of 14. Good. Opening match against Carmelo Hayes. One, two, That's it. It's over. It's over. Carmelo Hayes wins. And a rivalry. But oh, he's injured. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, dear. So, we've got Melo and Champa. Put a little asterisk next to Champa there. Um, you've gone for the smaller arena. Why is that? Because uh, somebody made all the arenas quite expensive. So ah, I didn't want to oh, go yeah. to the big one. <laughs> I forgot I did that. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't bother. Uh, okay. Ooh, Ooh, Katana Chance and uh, Shayna. Baszler and Katana. Look at 
know, primary skill four from Jenna Baszler. Does it feel generous to me? She's all right. It was fully scripted. <laughs> uh, then we got Rodriguez versus EO Sky, which I imagine is going to be good-ish. Mediocre, probably. I mean, they're a giant and a cruiser. Oh my god! This is what the... No! But you got a rivalry. I did get a rivalry. <laughs> which I can start paying off after the pay-per-view. <laughs> well, look, one of them's fine. One of so them is call fine. out to buggery. Yeah. Well, this is no. It's more. It's, uh, my it's also book. more the fact that like I've literally used every single human being on my <laughs> roster, uh, so I'm gonna have to buy multiple people. This yeah. Week. You're gonna be oh, seeing dear. some new faces. But Biggie and Finn grows to four. Look at that level four rivalry for your world title. I mean, that's tasty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. I think this is this is gonna be a duff four weeks of telly. Yeah. And then take over again. A classic NXT. <laughs> a classic though. NXT. Right, we're doing this just for a laugh. Because they need to have a match, they that's just need, fine. They just need to have a match. You know, uh, I need to fill the spot. We're just hoping that Bailey doesn't get injured. Fingers up for Bailey. If you get injured, I'm going to be so She's gross. fine. She's fine. Okay. Bailey's fine, everybody. Bailey, you're resting next week. Ilya Dragunov called out Champa. Was that to try and start a feud there that you didn't expect the, the Hayes feud to go down? Uh, yeah, it All was. Right. But I, I, didn't really, I didn't really mind either way. It was yeah. to see if there would be a feud turning up. One of them. Something to do. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and also, I panic booked. I did all the promos first, and then had a minute to do all that stuff because I was fair. so busy looking at people I could buy. Ah, I did uh, a similar thing yeah. this week. Yeah. So, hence why Razor Ramon is here <laughs> in a title match. Oh, we're gonna make him the North American champion. I hope so. Yeah, I hope Razor. so. Razor. I hope so because it will save Johnny. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna simulate this. Johnny's won. Johnny, well done, mate. But you've got a little right. Razor Ramon versus Johnny Whoa. Gargano. The rivalry we didn't know we needed. I mean, that's tasty still. And a good match as well. Okay, so we've got like, grew a lot of rivalries, but then also have completely tanked yeah. next week's NXT. I would say a, a, an up and down show. Yeah. Yeah. It's the having to have four matches thing that doesn't yeah. really, really makes it quite tricky. Bit tri I mean, it turns out booking so, wrestling is hard. So few people mm. to work with. Right but. then. Good booking for Dan Layton. Good booking for Laurie Blake. So we're both quite happy mm -hmm. on that front. I'm quite, I don't care. You don't need that. I don't need any reports there. Uh, do I care? I don't really mind. I'm pleased you got like look at you out of this show you've got three rivalries and a level four for your world title. Yeah. That part is a success. If you can get some nice sort of health spa injury healing. Yeah, power this cards. is this is what I desperately need. Problem is I'm spending basically all of my booking time yeah. looking at the roster pages yeah. to try and bring people in to work with anyone who isn't injured. Yeah. And everything's too expensive because I don't have enough money to buy that many people. I got I got Razor for free. For free? I had a card. I had a Legend Whisper card. Ooh. For, was that your special card? I think so, yeah. Because that's nice. Mm. Can I have one of those? Because I've also those? got a contract extension card as well. So I can extend him for free. Keep him, for, keep, keep him for 10 weeks. That's one of the things you can scream outside Starbucks. Right, right. Now, here we go. Uh, oh, Ooh. I've got up another tasty batch of fans. 1416. Um, and 440,000 budget is not bad oh my God. to maintain. <laughs> <laughs> well, given that I spent a load of money on stars. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, can't believe NXT 2, but I got rid of Edge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sacked Edge off. <laughs> you sacked him? <laughs> yeah, they can go to AEW now. <laughs> he, can, he can heal himself up. And off he goes. Yeah, I sacked Edge. <laughs> <laughs> That's ludicrous. Well, I was like four, four weeks on the shelf, yeah, mate. I've got yeah, a show to run, yeah. you know? And I've got a championship belt you're going to hold hostage. Um, I'm sad to be leaving NXT 2.0. Not really sure when, what went wrong or why I wasn't part of their plans. It's because if you can't hang on the rainbow brand, you got to take your leave. Uh, I like, but see, but people still love the show. So mm -hmm. Candice finally snapped that losing streak. Um, thought it was going to be Rhea Ripley who took it from Charlotte Flair. Indy deserves it. That's nice. Indy's popular still. Like the Wesley did in that promo. We're back in a good cause. Uh, oh, yeah. I've got Gigi Dolan in as well. Oh, nice. So she's down there in the list. She's got so much money. Um, well, my power card is fresh meat, which means I can sign three people at half the cost. <sighs> so by getting that bonus and then sacking Edge off, I had a nice little pot to But work I with. obviously need the meat. <laughs> I obviously need the meat. Look how little money I've yeah. got. I think, uh, honestly, I think NSC 2.0 has the best power card in the game. But. Um, it's all to play for, still. Let's see what happened yeah. with my show. Oh. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. That's I fine. think you're still in the lead, aren't you? Still in the lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah still maintaining. Nice. Just you're chipping away you slowly. You but are you're still chipping getting away there. at me. Yeah. On a, frankly, impressive, that's an impressive thing to do when your roster is broken. Yeah, oh, I'm just, just slowly maintaining the lead. Yeah, well played. All right, here we go. Razor Ramon back in the ring after so long and on NXT. <laughs> Yeah, Joker. Uh, <laughs> NXT announced EO Sky is going to be out for a little while. Sounds like Tomasa Champa will be out too. Good acquisition, NXT. Really great choice picking up Ramon. Obviously, that's a tight defense from Gargano, who's absolutely crushing it. NXT is a show to watch, and Johnny is the reason with another win. EO Sky doesn't know uh, what hit her. Thank you to fans for all the support from uh, Raquel there. Yeah, it doesn't know what hit her. <laughs> An injury, mate. <laughs> An injury. Big E called out Finn Balor tonight and knocked it out of the park. Pure poetry. Don't really get why NXT wants to push Carmelo Hayes. Because he's really good. Rude. Uh, Johnny Gargano is still champion tonight at NXT. Uh, Katana Chance looks so angry. Wonder if something happened in the back. Uh -oh. oh, no. Uh -oh. Didn't give her that main event slot. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, no. she'll be cross. So the other thing is, I also said I would, be in, I would give Champa a match and be in his corner, but he's injured now. So, well, you can uh, you can maintain that promise for a little while, maybe in that case. Maybe, maybe we'll see. I've said the same ultimately, it's his own fault. Well, yeah, exactly. Egg on his shouldn't face. Get, shouldn't get injured. Shouldn't yeah, with your fourteen. Try stamina. harder. <laughs> the workhorse of NXT. Okay, let's see where we are. Yeah. All right. So I've now I've right. I have. You've closed the gap. Your lead. Big. We're now on nine thousand, give or take, yep. fans. All right. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see how it goes. All to, all to play for as we throw back. to spend really big this week to buy some guys. Good job you got some budget. I actually do have a little bit you of do? budget this time. That's, yeah. a, that's a healthy little budget. Yeah, I only had 200,000, so I actually made money on it. And I made show. you spend double the amount of money on there. On our arena, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Um, all right. Thanks very much for this week. Let's uh, regroup. Head over back to Big L-O. D-A-D. Low dad. What a week that was. Uh, a lot of hurting people on the Blake and Gold brand, while Truth.0 is Scrooge McDucking it around, just swimming in cash and spending it willy-nilly and seemingly reaping the rewards. But maybe Blake will have some new faces on his brand as well, where they're quite healthy. Was that 270 grand in the pot there? Yeah. Very, very nice. Um, he'll be booking some bigger places maybe book some of those logistics signing some new names to help this quite poorly poorly roster but still race a remote so that's nice um it's always nice to you know use your legend whisper card to sign one of the cheaper names you could have bought uh, rather than buying one of the really expensive ones but, you know you know you make your own choices the shade of it all um, Ollie here says, this is the question we, we didn't do on the last uh, round, but said, if you could pick six wrestlers to be your main star for your fantasy wrestling show, who would you pick? This is quite a big question, Ollie. I think we might... Do you know what, Ollie? We'll try and save this for the mailbag. This feels more of a mailbag uh, thing. It says, Dan that Dan. And really, kind of got your fantasy booking right here with uh, their rosters. Um, but okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll rephrase the question ever so slightly. Uh, Dan, if you were to build a wrestling promotion around a wrestler, who would you pick? Around a single wrestler? Yes. Whoa. Current? Yeah. I'd probably take Becky Lynch. Laurie? Gunther. Very good answers. I'm picking Kenny Omega, the big bias that I am. Uh, C. Deaton here, this is an interesting one, says, quick tip I just found out. There are legends and stars you can sign that have pre-built fuse, but what? you have to guess and choose wisely. Last night, I blew a five five-star fuse at WrestleMania with the help of the match stipulation power cards. You guys are awesome. Jam that jam. What? So I did notice when um, uh, Laurie was signing Razor that it said rivalry zero. So maybe there is like... He's already like in a rivalry, or there are some people who are in rivalries with other people already. Ooh. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm only going by what C. More Deaton has said. Knowledge to find out in this game that doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> we have got some fancy pitches for Andrew Murphy. Uh, sorry, from Andrew Murphy for Joel Wheeler, who said he's a survivor of that fox catcher thing. He doesn't like to talk about it though, but it has fueled an intense rage. Hey. Oh, I see. Because oh, yeah. he had the, he was he had a proper uh, wrestling gear. Yeah, on, yeah, the hat. He had the, yeah. I mean, that's dark as it a, really a storyline. Yeah. Is uh, it more dark than Lexus King's current storyline? <laughs> I don't know. Hector Rodriguez said, uh, "Why didn't 2K update the game to change T-Bar to his current gimmick of Dijak? Because that seems like a lot of work." 
Well, it's not. It's not just changing a name. He's got a whole new look and everything. Has he got a new look? It's not yeah. Different. It's still he's got long. a big old beard now. He wears it's sunglasses. Just, yeah, it's like a trench coat. But... Nah. Yeah. That's a, that's a new character model. The other weeks, like uh, I can't see anything. It's like you're wearing sunglasses inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darren here said after losing to Sato Kabas, younger brother Mokuba, uh, jo- Joey Joel Wheeler gives up the card game for the wrestling ring. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh make Luke, reference. Uh, yeah, he said Sato Kaiba and Motu- Mokuba. Yeah, he just said, "Hey, I wanted to make Luke talk some Yu-Gi-Oh." <laughs> Fucking nerds, uh, Scott here. <laughs> 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 <With that. laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Um, and Scott here says, um, lo- does Laurie know that he could use all three of those promo slots? Hey, he did this week. He yeah. actually focused on the no, talking I'm first. Say, here's the thing. Here's the thing also. He's saying, can I use all three promo slots? Um, people don't get rest. They, they take, they get more stamina back if they're not doing promos, right? And my roster is fucked. And I'm going to say this to you as well, because we got these comments on the Monday Night War streams as well. You don't need to use them. Only use them if it's worth it. If they're more expensive and it doesn't really bring anything in. Like, I've got someone with massive popularity and who's good at a promo. I might whack him on an advertising promo and get some cash in. Mm -hmm. But if it's better to leave him doing nothing, leave him blank. I, I genuinely just haven't had enough roster to do that. There you go. Book him in matches if they're doing promos. That's true. This and why all my matches have been one on one? That's why I've got tag. <laughs> I've apparently got a tag division. You've got but, a women's tag division. Yeah, women's tag division. Yeah. Yeah, those tag belts aren't getting a lot of love on either brand no, at they the aren't. moment. You um, tell me how I book that, Luke, with the stamina I've got, and Dan will write it down. I don't know, Laurie. The comments have a pop at me for it as well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, don't, don't come looking at me, mate. Uh, I've lost this game three times. <laughs> <laughs> I am yeah, not the person to ask. Pete. Uh, and Lawson here has got quite the pitch for Joel Wheeler, who says, Joel Wheeler was a happy child until he fell through a portal that was opened in his garden by his witchy aunt. He's still unsure if it was intended to, or not. Joel was sent to a desert world filled with humanoids that resemble a land otter. He was educated in their ways, including the otter graps. He lived hard, fought hard, and loved harder. Joel met an otteroid named George, and they fell deeply in love. They spent years together raising two litters. Joel was working in the garden and fell through a portal. He was launched back to our world at the same age he had been previously. Whoa. His guttural scream of loss shook the world. Joel then swore that he would never love again and would use his otter graps to rule the pro wrestling world. I'd give it a redraft. Isn't yeah. that just the South Park episode where Cartman waits for the Nintendo Wii <laughs> and becomes the Tam Chat? <laughs> <laughs> we will crush them like clams in our bellies. <laughs> I didn't see it. It's great. It's, if... a three, it's a three-part episode. Three-parter? Uh, yeah. Cartman tries to wait for the Nintendo Wii uh, to come out, and he can't wait two weeks. So he decides to freeze himself. <laughs> uh, he freezes himself for millennia. The Earth has been taken over <laughs> by otters, great. and he comes back as, like, the time child. Great. Who, and all he wants is a Nintendo Wii. Aww. Does he get a Nintendo Wii? I think he doesn't. <laughs> what a denouement. Yeah. That's a, it shows you how long South Park has been on the air because I remember one of its earlier jokes, and when I say earlier jokes, the show had been on the air for two years at that point, was that all, all Eric Carmen wanted was a Sega Dreamcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then they did a series run where it was after a Nintendo I Wii. I a Nintendo Wii. <laughs> <laughs> what, so but, what is it now? I want, I want a Royal Match. Do you, remember, do you ever get that to a real match? No. Yeah, probably want a uh, nightmare. A PS5. Mm. Is that is that an, is that still new? That's a current thing. Yeah. <laughs> is it? But is it new? Is my question. I don't own one. <laughs> yeah, it's like reasonably current. Yeah. That's yeah. a current thing. It's such a cutting thing to say to a person whose job is being current. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We work in wrestling media. That's not, nothing's current. Nothing's Everything, current all here. the pop culture references in wrestling are 10 years out of date <laughs> at best. Have you seen uh, local promotions doing their like Instagram and social media and stuff? It's like golf courses. Just like 10 years behind the time. They'll catch up eventually and telling you what is happening on a match card. Uh, but we're going to be heading on over, speaking of match cards, to find out what our boys will be booking. Uh, we'll head on over to our colourful jacket friend shortly. But if you do want to get involved in the conversation, patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk. You can have your comments read out on the air. You just got to do is sign up for the $5 amount. Bearing in mind, ultra chats that we usually do on this thing are $10. So this one 
You've only got to sign up once for five bucks, and you get a whole host of other things like Wrestle Talk Extra, Behind the Scenes Podcast, The Mailbag, Wrestle Talk After Dark, Early Access to Episodes, and a whole host of other fun stuff. So head on over to patreon.com forward slash Wrestle Talk because we're going to be doing a bonus show as well after this stream. More details on that in a little bit. Also, if you're looking to get a date in your calendar, Wednesday. November 29th will be our next stream. That is Wednesday, November 29th will be the next stream for this show. We'll be doing weeks 11 through 15. So get that in your diary. Same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, We'll be going through this. However, it's time to get across to week 8. Head on over to Laurie Blake representing NXT and Dan Layton representing NXT 2.0. Right, I think we're gonna smash it this week. I think it's gonna, it's gonna finally be my time. Mm. You're already. Oh, look, your game face already on. What's what's this week? This week is Panic Week again. Yeah, yeah, another another week of Panic. Yeah, uh, I imagine. And, uh, and the soundtrack will be the soundtrack will be. I'm probably gonna listen to Blink One Two's new album. Oh. Still went going. The, yeah, they went to see them the other week at the O2. One Eight Two is now the uh, collective age of the members of the band. <clears throat> so, um. Sick burn. <laughs> All right, you ready out? Because I'm not. <laughs> anyway, this song's called. Anyway, this this song from Blink One Two is called Edging. So I'm gonna listen to that. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Fucking girls. grow up, Blink One Eight Two. <laughs> You're in I your... edged your mom. You're in your fifties. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, uh, time at beginning. Oh, hang on. I'm going to get myself to my email page first because otherwise I'm wasting valuable seconds, as you well know. Okay, Rally North Carolina, seven minutes on the clock. Three, two, one. Let's go! No, let's go. Let's go! Uh, Bobby Roode, boss, what happened to Whoops, sorry. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh, we waited weeks and didn't get you. Disappointed doesn't begin. Major decrease. Uh-oh. My bad. Well, Logan wants to be on a, on a rest for a while. Um... Can I leave you for two weeks? Did I just start a rivalry with you? Uh, rivalry zero. Okay, fine. You can have some rest. Go away. Take some time off, Logan. That'll make you feel nice. Um, what? Have, is there anything else? I didn't interfere in a match within three weeks, so I've got a week left for that. Uh, Zelina wants to win her next match. Okay. And um, my commissioner goal is to have at least one TLC match this week. Well, isn't that an interesting prospect? Because I think it's time. <laughs> to start my new main event feud. <laughs> and the main event feud will be Randall and Jinder for the world title in a TLC match. So, um, look at Indy with her double belts. Um, I don't want that. I want her to lose the belt. But I am also going to have to give her some time off. So what I'll do is a call-out promo from Rhea Ripley on Indy Hartwell uh, to continue that women's title feud. And I will book... So the, pro- the problem is my tag champs are in other feuds. Um, if I book her in a tag match against hmm hmm <clears throat> could do Zelina and Dolan oh I guess they're already a team are they well I'll tell you what I'll do um, I'll use my fixed match power card although is that gonna that's gonna make their rivalry go nuts in it I don't want that Maybe I'll save it. When did I pro- When's my promise to you? She just- uh, In perpetuity. Okay. Uh, oh, I know. I, I made a little list of things I wanted to do. I wanted to check my seasonal power cards. So I'll do that quickly. Complete five challenges this season. I'm already partway there. Um, 15 shows without an injury. Five shows with GM interference. Okay, that one's a little bit tricky, but I can get a start on that with Charlotte if I want to. Uh, eight shows with interference, five falls count anywhere matches, eight shows with a charity promo. Um, and I'm already part way there. All right. Um, five F C A. Fifteen, no injury. I mean that one's not going to be done for a few weeks, so that's fine. Um. All right. In that case, what I'll do is I'll kill two birds with one stone and book a match here with a GM interference to help out my lovely friend Charlotte Flair. Uh, that's fine. 
Um, even though she's poorly, I just want to get it done. I can give her a week off next week. And then we're going to have LA Knight and Seth Freakin' Rollins for the... Um, I'm going to make that triple threat match. And I'm going to put Kevin Owens in there as well. Just to give us a nice spread um, of different matches. Because that gives us a tag match. And I'll play my fixed match power card for Selena Vega. Which keeps a few promises. And helps me get one of the titles off Indy. So that I can start a feud with the tag belts elsewhere. Hopefully Indy won't be too badly hurt. We'll get a... Uh, title match in a normal triple threat match and our main event is a TLC match. How are we doing on the time? Three minutes left. Good. Uh, look at those. Is that always doing under it? I might... I've not got any power cards against me, are I? No. Okay, fine. Right, I'm intrigued by this Legends thing. So let's say, for instance, Eddie Guerrero... Rivalry Zero. Rivalry Zero. Has Phoenix got a rivalry? Have you got a rivalry? Have you got a rivalry? Hmm, some of these people don't have. Okay. Maybe it is a thing later on in the series, but currently nobody has a rivalry. Um, oh, I always like signing China when she's available, but that's a lot of money to spend on someone I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. Um, let's try. I don't think I need a legend at the moment. I think I'll save it for when I'm up against it. Um, I'm actually going to buy myself another fixed match power card because those can come in super handy. And um, what's that? Falls count anywhere. I can make it a decent match. Is that? I've got a bit of budget. Am I going to buy that? I don't know. Oh, uh, cancel. What was my? What am I going to get from that? Oh yeah. I'll take that. Do I need that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Right, who on my roster could do with a popularity uh -oh. boost? Who's under 60 popularity? Candice LeRae. Oh, it's Lena Vega. Well, she'll go up a load. Oh, I know. I know. We're going to play the To The Moon power card on Jinder Mahal. Because that'll make him a proper main event guy. Um, kind of what they did. Oh, I do have a Legend Whisperer. Oh, brilliant. Okay, that's because we're both... That's the GM, and then the fresh meat was the show. Okay, that's fine. Do I want to send anyone to the health bar immediately? I don't think I do. Oh, I'm not going to be able to buy a new arena at all. I'll save the free arena card anyway. Any other... Bookings I want to do... Get Candice another self promo back and they're doing fine. I can save that for another week. Wesley, because you could do your popularity, don't wanna I might whack you in on a charity promo. Well that's a lot of money for not a lot. I don't know, I'll just give you some more popularity, why not? Um Where are we at? 16 seconds left. I think I'm quite happy with that show. Tag team title opener. Um, ah. Oh, I don't want to do that. Swapping those two. Is that a Hail Mary? I might also swap those two as well, just to be certain. I guess that's that. Your go. Nice. How was it? All right. I don't know if I've booked the most inspiring show, but I've certainly booked a show. Oh, yeah? So. Wow. Did I tick off my... Prepare to be inspired. I, I, I wrote a to-do list before I started that. Oh, yeah? And I completed all four objectives on my to-do list. That's very good. I've, so, written a, I've written down a plan for my show. Yeah? The plan mostly just says, buy people! <laughs> <laughs> buy them! Um, all right. There's some other stuff on here that might be useful. The next song I'm going to look for is this Jeff Goldblum one by by Mateel. Mm. Uh, we'll add that to the agenda. Jeff Cliff Goldblum. Took my time to hold it up. Mateel. Ah, found it. Add to queue. 
That's a cue. Yes. We just... So that, well, when it finishes, I've um, got another song. Right, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right, are you ready? Yes. Because I'm ready. See you in a bit. Three, two, one, go. All right, what nonsense do you want? Uh... You and Hayes is a tag team. Get fucked, Ilya. Uh, oh, does it? I thought I could trust you. Yeah, I don't care about that. I think you should put me in a match with Dragonov. Trust me on this. Do you know what? I was thinking the same thing. Uh, it's been three weeks. Good. Okay, what are we doing? Sure, your least popular available cruiser is in a match this week. Any cruise show logistics book this week would be three. That's pretty good. Okay, right, let's book some stuff in then. Uh, we're going to start over here. So he's got 32 stamina. How are you doing, Finn? 29. Is it a risk to have them have a match? Bailey's got 21 stamina. Asuka's got 31 stamina. That's a risk to have them have a match. Okay. Uh, I think I will risk it for a biscuit, though. Uh, and we will do that. Um, I was going to have... Monsieur Ramon. That's how that works, right? Who's calling, who's calling out? Who's having a feud with? Johnny. Alright. Uh, I wanted to book Ilya Dragunov anyway, because he needs a feud. And T-Bar does seem like a pretty good match for him. Ilya is the only person with stamina on this entire roster. That is insane. Okay, you're going to have a little mid-card match. Uh, I also put down... What did I put down? Chance versus Baszler. Could be one that we do. They've both got stamina. We'll leave that like that for now and we'll come back to it. So my least popular available cruiser. So my only cruisers are fucking Joel bloody Wheeler! Wheeler! Okay. Uh, sign the free agents. Oh, just sign... John Cena, a cruiser and a bruiser. What have we got? Cena the Giant, Giovanni. I could just permanently sign Theory, but that feels like spending too much money. Sign Noam Dar, but he's not bland. Like his stamina is really high. Got in terms of legends. So expensive, aren't they? Hang on. Hold the phone. <laughs> Hold the freaking phone. It's Kevin Nash. I could put Kevin Nash. Is Kevin Nash in a feud with. Who did I want there? There was a cruiser that I was looking at. So I'd have to turn. I would have to turn one of Noam Dar's thingy because I can't pay off my Carmelo Hayes feud until that is resolved with the injuries. But I wanted a giant, so is there a good, is there a nice giant? A friendly giant? A BFG? I could also just get a specialist in. You get five weeks of heart. Him into it. This is the bit that I can't do quickly. I can't look at all these things quick enough. I have to do this before show paper because it's the only way my brain works. Because basically, I've got Wheeler. I've got stupid Wheeler with no stupid match to have, so I need a babyface specialist or a giant. Good, okay. And then over here. <laughs> Is it stupid to do Bret Hart versus Joel Wheeler? It is. But it's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna work with the NXT guys. Where Bret Hart takes on the mighty rubbish Joel Wheeler. Do you know what? It's tables. Cutting up the phone, leaving me up alone. Tomorrow I'll be begging you to come home. Do you 
Right, what we else have we got? I don't know if I really want to self promo anyone. Maybe the best one to do is have Asuka just grow her popularity a little bit more. She's okay on the money. That will damage her popularity, but I'm okay with that, I think. Let's see if we can get some money. Uh, let's have a little look at power cards, shall we? Plus two show bones, free arena booking, free advertising. No, contract negotiation. Oh, yeah, that's. I'm going to buy that as well, because that's totally worth using at some point. Okay, let's go back to my show. This is a title match. Probably should be slightly more. I don't want it, I don't want them to get hurt because I want them to sort of get to the I want them to ideally get to the pay-per-view. Uh, let's give this a stick as well. Or do we risk Baszler? We risk Baszler giving that a stick, so I think we just stick. I think we just stick. They're doing tables. You guys are doing a regular match in the hopes that net something but we don't kill T-Bar in the process. And then I mean Raquel Rodriguez might as well just do a promo and she'll do I think she'd call out. Might as well. Okay, doing some work. Okay. Uh, let's just look at the other stuff. I've never had a chance to look at this before. <laughs> What's this do? Spend money on promo, fulfill promises. Okay. Do I want to do that? I don't want to do that. Let's use this. Okay. Then I'll have it. Why not? Oh, don't go to the main menu. Whatever you do, You've got two seconds. Hey, look, this has gone down. All right. Confirmed. That's what happens when you tinker. Confirmed. Uh, I'm at 66% on the tube map quiz, by the way. Quite pleased with myself. Turns out if you just pop things in there like Woodford, and then you go South Woodford, you get another one. Oh, that's good. Bonus. How are you? Better week. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've got an addition to the roster. Okay. You're going to enjoy, I think. You've got a smile on your face, yeah, which leads me very, to... It's very silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, well... I'll, I'll begin uh, with my triple threat uh, North American Championship match, uh, trying to force some kind of feud out here. We've yeah. got two baby face bruises, one specialist in the middle, uh, maybe a new champ, maybe a, a rivalry. Uh, let's find out, I guess. Uh, the pinfall goes to LA Knight, who retains his belt, and I get a rivalry. All, All right. Rally. Good opener. That, and that's a decent, a decent little feud to have. Uh, Trying to continue the call out there. Rhea Ripley calling out Indy Hartwell. Ooh, that's my rivalry feud. Grows. Rivalry grows for the women's title. That's a nice one. Um, over on the mid card, Charlotte wanted interference, and I promised her I would. So why ever not? Interfere, yeah. There you go. Um, let's see what happens here. I can never understand how that interference works. Also, I've just signed Judy Dolan, and I've, the first yeah. thing the first thing I've done is put her in a match with Charlotte and, and fucked her over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, whoopsie. Welcome to NXT 2.0. Uh, self promo from Candice Ray. She did such a good job on those dick pills that I wanted to give her a moment <laughs> in the sun on her own, and it worked out for her. Three. You didn't, you didn't now, want a stiffer there. Did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, no. No. I've got a double champ, wow. which means I can't do any tag team feuds without running the risk of Indy being in pain. Yeah. Meanwhile, Queen Zelina insisted that she win her next match. Fortunately, I got a fixed match card. So if I played my card right, uh, our you new tag this. team champions will be Queen Zelina and Sammy Queen George. George. And I've got uh, a rivalry. tag team rivalry. Well, it's not what I wanted, no. but um, I guess once Indy and Rhea are blown off, I can, I can do something with that. Wesley gets a nice little pop of his rating. And welcome to 2017. <laughs> because the commissioner goal was a TLC match. And I thought, why ever not? I need yep. a new world champ. Edge has gone off to pastures new. Uh, Randy Orton and Jinder Mahal will be taking on each other in a TLC match to crown the new NXT 2.0 champion. Who is it going to be? Who's going to reach for that rainbow belt? It's Randy Orton, ladies Randy and gentlemen. Orton. And a rivalry going in the belt. Oh, a classic. Ooh, a classic. Absolute scandal. Excuse you. Yes, queen. Well, I'll take it. I didn't even do any shenanigans with that, as far as I know. Um, all right. 
Thank you very much, Randy and Jinder. Proved you all wrong, didn't they? All right. Let's see about you. Now emanating from the knacker's yard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We've got a little rivalry here, we? have got a little we? rivalry. So I thought we would just have a match. Baze is in okay shape. Mm -hmm. Katana Chance has got the like basically the highest stamina on the roster. Mm -hmm. Let's see where this goes. Shayna with the win. Shayna with the win. It's mediocre. And no fear the rivalry. But, you know, they got together. Razor Ramon is continuing his Ra battle. Razor Ramon calls out Johnny Gargano. It does nothing. Razor Ramon, obviously, a terrible talker. <laughs> Famously <laughs> rubbish Famously at Roman. bad. And guess who's here? It's only Bret Hart. <laughs> <laughs> to take on Joel Wheeler, yeah. a fox catcher, to yeah. determine which wrestling camp is the best. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> is, <laughs> is it the Hart family or fox catcher? We're about to find out. Um, I had a I had a commissioner goal to book uh -huh. my uh, lowest popularity cruiserweight, right. which happens to be Mr. Wheeler. Oh, Wheeler's a cruiserweight. Look at him; he's built. Yeah, I know. He's just, but he's absolutely like, tiny. Yeah, he's he's minuscule, he's like Tom Thumb. Um, <laughs> no, a mediocre match from him. Bret Hart. Well done, Bret. Asuka's done some advertising, but she's got a lot of money there for that. Yeah, fair so play. She's got the promo skill, and she had really strong popularity. So I was oh, like, yeah. okay, it's fine to sort of. Tank that a little bit. Uh, T-Bar wanted a match with Ilya Dragunov, mm. uh, which, you know, he might get injured in. But he likes skirting on the edge, doesn't he, the T-Bar? Yeah, that's his fault if it happens. But it hasn't. It so hasn't. far, you have booked no feud. a Excellent. consistently mediocre show. Oh, yeah. This is this is pure, pure the pay-per-views coming up. That's good, Rivalry though. grows, though, between these two, and we've just got to wait for EO to come back. Raquel doing all the heavy lifting. Look, hey, it worked. It you did know? work. Very effective. Well and done. then we're having a title match. Whoa. What level rivalry were they on? Level three? These guys are on a level four rivalry. Currently? Currently. Oh. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Biggie retains. It's amazing. That's fine. That's actually all right. I got us through the week. That's okay. Yeah. I'm absolutely okay with that. Interesting. Do me a little solid. Go down to the main event. Bap, bap, bap. Why was that so good? Oh, they really went on it, on it with performance. You rolled the performance high. They really did well there. Popularity. Oh, I also played a um, power card to boost Jinder's popularity after his next match. And it has done just that. It's sent okay. him to 75. Stamina's very low now. That's as fine. Randall's. They're not injured. No. Which is a, a massive improvement. You've just got to go through next week, and then you've got the pay-per-view, right? Well, there you go. So, so I'll just like, give them both a day off. Just limp off. Limp, limp through next week. Mm. That limp, works. Been limping through this entire pay-per-view <laughs> cycle. <laughs> My hope is just get to the end of this and yeah. then hopefully I can get to a position where I can just have Bret Hart versus Razor Ramon instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> NXT! Like true NXT, baby! The land of tomorrow! Right, here we go. This was good because... Oh, that, that was good despite them rolling poor ah. performance. That's a that's a slight stale. Okay. That's that's a bit of a nightmare. All right. What does that do? Uh, so basically people don't want to see that rivalry anymore. Sure. So you can either... I mean, you need to give them a week off because their stamina's down. Mm -hmm. You could try and blow it off with a submission match at the pay per view, which I imagine. Which I don't is know. What if... I was, my intention anyway was probably, to blow it probably the fine then. Yeah, probably fine. My intention was to get it to the pay per view. I needed something to fill in the main event slot that would pop the main event. Yeah. Did this next week. That's fair. Having a break. That's fair. Uh, and then we're going to do. This was fine. What I, a match I'm, annoyed that I, I'm annoyed about the rivalry. This was, yeah. This was okay. But there was nothing going on in here, and the rivalry. Did not grow. So we're just going to bang those two together until <laughs> something happens, I think. <laughs> I'm just going to up the stakes every week. Yeah. It's going to be... Because that match was a tables match. Next right. week, Hell Extreme. in a Cell. Yeah. yeah, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, we've, got, we've got the rivalry to grow there, so I'm okay with that. Right, let's go have a look at the old next bit. Oh, uh, still growing. Still Healthy growing. growth, 1461, like that, and a nice little payout there as well. If you ask me, Jay Layton is playing with fire. Not the smartest move to interfere in a match and pick favorites on your own team. Um, that seems nice. like LA Knight, Charlotte versus Gigi, Sammy George and Zelina worked okay as a tag team, I guess. That's nice, given that they're champions. Um, <laughs> they must completely hate each other running Jinder Mahal. Keep going, keep going. What else we got down here? Any specialities? No? Randy Orton, Luke takes a belt. Uh, you pity a bad superstar like LA Knight and give them a free win. Even I can be generous sometimes. Okay, Seth. Tweet away, like you always do. Um, <laughs> all right, that'll all do right. me. Yeah, let's see how you are. Okay. One, four, six, one to beat. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. yeah I'm keeping pace. Edging. Oh, and I've made the money. Look at you go. Made a lot of money. I made you did. nearly 100K there. 
Uh, okay, wow, Hart was on the card tonight. Okay, He's so still got it. Yeah, he revenue. fucking does. Oh, that was your ad revenue. You got a nice little pitch from there, didn't you? Yes, I did, yeah. Uh, really missing EO Sky. Hope for a quick recovery. Asuka trying to sell us stuff tonight, but it at least was fairly entertaining. Love Big E. Not getting many notes about this, really. Respect where it's due. Good match. Shayna Baszler from Katana. Johnny, keep running your mouth while you can, Razor Ramon. It's going to be wi it's going to be wired shut for a while after next week. <laughs> yeah, well, if your rivalry would grow, mate. <laughs> if, if only. There's no point in you going on Twitter and calling him out if your rivalry hasn't grown in the actual game where I need it to grow. Idiot, Johnny. <laughs> Idiot. All right. All right. Continue. So we both got a little... Oh, yeah, I got a nice little injury rehab. You could do that. You yeah. fucking bastard. Um... Fortunately, none of my people are injured currently. Free crew booking. booking. Okay, decent. Okay. Decent. Ah! Um, inspiring loyalty, because you kept your promises. I did, yeah. Look at you go. To the moon. moon. Only use one superstars with less than 60 popularity, plus 15 to a popularity of the superstar for their next match. That's what just pushed gender over the edge. That's interesting. So that's quite nice. Very in Look at the difference in budgets here. This is, <laughs> this is ins I'm working with half the money, guys. Yeah, but you're working with two legends. <laughs> I am working with And I'm building my own, like, Jinder Mahal. It's Legend of the TLC afford, match. Because I can't afford to buy them. <laughs> I can't afford to buy new talent. You've got to rent new talent. they're too expensive, so I'm having to rent legends. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I thought Bret Hart was only like 50k and blooming Noam Dar was 100k. Value yourself, Bret. Come on. Come on, man. Luke, oh, you. oh, you oh, sorry, the other time me, sorry, I, I was waiting for my cue. Uh, an incredible week of action there. Laurie Blake just, just about holding on to that number one position, but for how long as the truth continues to book solid weekly television? Title matches, triple threats, fatal four ways, tag titles. You absolutely love to see it, apart from Jinder Mahal in the main event against Randy Orton. But hey, you know, Dijak and uh, Elia, I bet you that was good. I bet you that was good. I bet you that was fun to watch. So yeah, we have got uh, incredible action going on to, at the moment, and we have got some comments from you here in the Ultra Chats. And I say Ultra Chats, it's not Ultra Chats, is it? Still, I'm going over to patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk, signing up for Patreon at our $5 level to get all of our extra wicked cool content. And there's a little post there where you can leave a comment so you uh, have your statement read out on the air. Like Sean, who said, Let's go, Laurie. As a member of the Follicle Less Society, win it for all of us. That's not what we're calling it. <laughs> I think it is, you though. You don't get to name it. It's not what we're calling it. Well, what he has <laughs> called it, what Sean has called it, is the Bald World Order. The New World Balder. That's, that's, yeah, right that's right there. good. It the right New there. World Balder. Is it it's good? Right what do we say? Good? NWB? Oh, you're so much face. It just keeps going all the way over the back. <laughs> So yeah, it is an incredibly tight race as we're about to head into our penultimate week. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going over to patreon.com forward slash breast talk. There's wrestle talk extra. There's after dark. There's behind the scenes. There's our mailbag shows. You can get early access to um, uh, fairly, uh, Fantasy Booking Warfare, which was an excellent episode that went up at the weekend. And you can watch next week's episode already right now. There's uncut versions of Survival Series. There's uncut versions of No Holds Board, our board game show. There's loads of great content to sign up for there at the $5 level. And you can get your comments read out on the air and send in song suggestions for Dan. Dan, may I uh, provide you with a song suggestion? Uh uh, no, oh. unless it comes from Patreon, Patreon directly. Because both of those, I will say that Jeff Goldblum song was also banging. That oh, was it a good one. Was yeah. It? back live here on parts fun known apologies for some technical difficulties some gremlins in the building there who were messing around with the obs and made it do a little crash but thankfully we have a crack team of specialists who came in to fix the fixable issue so thank you very much uh we're gonna be heading on over to our place <laughs> 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 it's a good job have a sit down rich good job the producer rich is here 
Um, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, producer Rich has fixed the issue now, so we can crack on going into our penultimate week. Uh, you probably just missed the little chat that we had about me wanting to have some lunch, so we're gonna that have that in a. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna have that while our contestants book their shows. Are you boys ready? Yes. Then we're gonna head on over to Laurie Blake representing Wednesday Night NXT and Dan Layton Ooh. representing NXT 2.0. I cannot stress enough that that is literally all they missed. <laughs> like, yeah, that that, is, that I checked. All the, all the stream missed. ended on you asking me if you could recommend me a song. I said no. And then you started talking about wanting lunch. So, like, <laughs> you, you missed nothing. In the meantime, you're going to get your headphones on? Yes, they're here. Lovely. I found them again. Fabulous. I'm going to... Uh... Ooh, I'm going to pick a song. Love that. Everything's going fine. I was just I was in the chat during the break to chat to everybody. Um, but while you're getting your headphones on and setting yourself sorted, I'm going to get my game face on. Eyes on the prize later, and let's do it. And uh, pop on a little uh, timer. You ready, babes? Yeah, ma'am. He's jamming. What are you jamming? Stand Atlantic. Stand Atlantic. You're ready? Let's uh, let's go. Three, two, one. Seven minutes on the clock. I've already done my to-do list. Oh, no, I've just... Bastardized myself three or four seconds. We're in Omaha. Who cares? Uh, Jive Owens is up at the end of the week. Mate, uh, how are you doing? Am I going to stiff you as well? You're satisfied. No, I tell you what, you can have all your money, Jive Owens. I'm never letting you go. Gigi versus Charlotte. It's okay to match. Oh, go away, Triple H. You know I only did that as a throwaway. Uh, Charlotte's thrilled that I carried my promises, and Gigi is fear. Dan, what was all that about? Sorry, G. Sorry, Giggles. Love you. Um, but she doesn't seem too upset about it. Uh, Logan is still having a rest. Is there anything else I've got on the agenda? No. Okay, fine. Got some contracts coming up in a couple of weeks, uh, but they are the, my lower, um, lower rank roster's gender. Oh, he's going to cost me a, a pretty penny. So, first on my agenda is to rest Jinder and Randy for the week, because I believe both of them are on, yeah, that's a low stamina, isn't it? 24 for you and 23 for you. They're both having the week off. The rivalry's on level 3. That's absolutely fine. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Um, in the meantime... Oh, Indy's doing alright with stamina. So if I book her... To, oh, wait! The, the, the titles did change. Oh, fine. If I book her her to call out Rhea she got who's got the better promo oh Rhea has well we'll just do another one of those then but we'll put it in the main event promo slot I guess I don't know if that makes any difference whatsoever um in the meantime um oh bleeding egg uh Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do Seth and LA Knight in a steel cage match for the title. Uh, because that might up the rivalry an extra slot. Um, but it does cost high stamina. I But at 41, LA Knight's not going to get injured. Um, let's see then. Over on the power card, hype. Best friends forever. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Uh, do I have... Right. Health spa. Who needs it the most? Um, I'm going to give it to Jinder. And I'm going to give it to Jinder because uh, I'm going to try and make it so that Jinder wins the title. Um, which is going to be controversial. But hey! The game tried to hinder Jinder. The truth ain't gonna. Uh, where are we on the time? Four minutes left. Right. So logistics, just to keep going. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. I could sign a legend. Who have we got on the legends roster that's got 10? I'm looking for a 10 week. Macho Man for 10 weeks? Oh. Good guy Macho Man. Good guy, good guy Steve Austin for 10 weeks. And I need a good guy fighter. Or do I need a bad guy fighter? I think I need a bad guy fighter. I could have Jake the Snake for three weeks. For ten weeks. Although if I sign Stone Cold for nothing, I could always... Because I've got that, I could always have him do a, a heel turn promo. Who would I want to put him against? Is the question. Jinder is a... Oh, Jinder's a bad guy bruiser. Oh, mate. That could be my ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing it. 
Sign free agents. Um, nope. Nope. Power cards. Legend Whisperer. Confirm. Because I don't know that um, Stone Cold... Oh, do I get the rock? A good guy specialist? Is that better for... Oh, that's only five weeks. Um, good guy fighter. Stone Cold Steve Austin. We're doing it. For nothing. For absolutely nothing. For ten weeks. And I can always do a role change with him. They are expensive. But if I need a bad guy fighter, I can always do a role change. Uh, is Logan... What's... Oh, hang on. Ensure your least popular available giant is in a match this week. And that is... Ba -ba 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 Marseille. All right, fine. Um. I'll tell you what. Why not give him some reps with Marseille in the meantime? That won't probably start a feud because um, Marseille... What a TLC match? Are you joking? I'll give him a table match. Why not? Well, it shouldn't start a feud because he's a giant, but you never know. Um... Ooh. Bobbles is back to some health. I'll tell you what. Just to make absolutely certain that doesn't start a feud, let me put in Wesley. Because it's his match speciality as well. And their rivalry isn't stale anymore. Did they have a rivalry? I feel like they did. Either way. Um, oh, Jesus. 1 minute 36. Um, I'm going to whack on... Candice and Gigi. Um, and i tell you what I'll do. How about this? going to even the odds. Because that uh, one of my goals is to book 5 GM interferences. So that will mean I've done two of those. Which can take me down to three. And then here, mm, I just need something else to fill a spot, to fill a gap. Oh, I know what I'm doing. What am I thinking? Uh, they've both got really good stamina. So if I give them a tables match, and I give them... I well, know, they need that. If I give them... Mm, I don't know if I want to do that. I might just give a normal. Um, and I'll have do drop call out Zelina. So then I can maybe blow that one off at a pay-per-view as well. I'll give a... Get some money back from an advertising promo from... Charlotte, because she can take a hit. Uh, any power cards that I want to get. Two times advertising cost. Uh, this week. So that's a this week when I do that one. That's a this week. Beginner's Look, uh, Best Friends Forever, that's a really good power card, I don't know if I want to use it. Advertising cost, we're not doing advertising for a while, are we? No. So I don't need that just yet. Well, that's my choice. Hey, go, bud! Hello! Hello! You confirmed, I haven't seen it. I, I've confirmed it. I can't remember if I've missed something. No? No. Um, cause I was, I was dilly dallying with, uh, power cards. So I don't know whether or not I've, I've missed something and I'm sure they'll tell me in the chat. Mm. But again, I did that. I did that. I did that. Well, you've got a to-do list. So I you. did that and I did that. So that's probably fine. Great. All right. Um, we're back onto my Nostalgia 2006 playlist. When last, last we left it, we had, uh, who was it? Oh, Nelly Furtado, Promiscuous. Yes, very good. So now we're going to go on with Britney Spears' Gimme More. Very uh, very pertinent for the week. She's got a new book out. Mm. Uh, it's Britney Bitch. Off you I go. like the fact that Promiscuous and Gimme More also match up. That's nice. You're it just listening true. to the horny playlist. I was very horny in 2000. I just turned 16 in fairness. So. All, right. All right. Let's do this. He's gone. All right. In three, two, one, go. Okay, Finn, what do you want to say? Uh, Finn is saying to me... A bit disappointed, but that's on me. You held up your part. I didn't follow through. I appreciate you. Great work on your boss. Thank you, Finn. Specialist. Uh, can't wait to put on a great show for the crowd. Hey, that's cool. Do not book your most popular fighter this week. Okay, I think that should ultimately be fine because who is my most popular fighter? Fighter, fighter, fighter. Razor Ramon is 69. Did it, did. 66, Asuka. 66, Bala. 
Oh, that's difficult though, Triple H, because I wanted to book Razor. I needed him because he's got stamina. That's absolutely boning me. Okay, show logistics. Let's do the do the bits first. Give me more. Give me okay. more. All right. More. What do I get for this anyway? It reduces the probability. No! I need that. I need that so badly. Oh, I, I actually have to not book Razor remote. Oh, you bastard! You bloody bastard! All right, uh, let's do this. Um, we are going to use this on Ilya Dragunov. Confirm that. We're going to push him to the moon! Uh, we're going to buy this boy. Uh, thank you. And we are going to uh, use that uh, immediately. Um, who are we going to use this on, though? Who's not appearing on this show this week? Probably... Either Beige, Asuka, or Baszler, I think. I don't know. Asuka's doing okay. Bailey's doing okay. So it's probably Beige or Balor. Probably on Beige, I think. Uh, okay, cool. Alright, let's do some matches then. So, yeah, I need to not book Razor versus Johnny. Unfortunately, that's really pissing me off. Uh, but we will do Johnny calling out Razor in the hopes that that does something instead. Johnny's good on the mic, so maybe we get somewhere with that. Uh, we're going to do Brett versus Joel in a, <laughs> in a series of escalating stakes matches. We've done tables. So, what do we do? Oh, yeah, let's put the additional rivalry levels chance. I haven't got a rivalry yet, so we're not going to do that. Pulls count anywhere. Don't really want to do that. It's probably too much. Medium stamina cost. We did extreme rules. Why not? That might end up being the opener. We're not sure yet. Uh, we are desperately trying to have Ilya Dragunov uh, actually start a feud with T-Bar, the world's most injured man, who has 20 stamina. But we will run the risk for the boost in popularity. Now, next thing. The next thing. Luke, do you want to eat a bit quieter, mate? You put me on. Uh, so we could, oh, we could get Riddle uh, for five weeks, and we could put him against Creed. That's interesting. We could get Liv in against Liv and Tamina. We could get for pretty cheap, actually, for a fair amount of time. Mm. I did kind of want to start a women's feud of some description. Um, all right, so then the other thing we were going to do was we're just going to run Shayna Baszler into the ground and see what happens. Okay. Then this was going to be... I think the problem is I do Asuka Bailey, I run the risk of that going stale. Which is kind of against my plans, but I really wanted... I could get someone in for Mellow, I guess, and just do a Mellow match because he's okay. Uh, and Champ is back after the pay per view, so that might be fine. Just for. My problem is, right, my problem is, is that it's not offering me the people I need in the roles that I need. Uh, so I could get Liv and I could get Tamina, or I could sign a legend. Who could I sign? This is what happens every week. I'm like, who could I get? And then I'm just like, oh, I'll just get in uh, Bret Hart, I guess. Uh, no, no, no. I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this. Right, so I don't... By not booking him, that's fine. Ugh! Why is it so hard? Um... Right, okay. No. I don't want to run Asker and Bailey and risk it backfiring. What I realistically want to do is just have Asker do a self promo to boost her popularity. She did that charity one for me. And then I want to do. I just need to get any old bod in from there, though. Any old bod. Any dream will do. 
I could also get Riddle and like Omos and just do a match between those two for a bit. Or Riddle and Julius Creed for cheap cheats. Which I think I will actually do. I'm gonna sign Riddle. And I'm gonna sign Creed. Stop pressing all the buttons, Laurie. Stop pressing all the buttons, you idiot. Matt Riddle versus Creed. Make it tables, because that's fun. Uh, and then we'll work out the order. So that doesn't have a... That does have a rivalry growing into it. This one doesn't. None of these other ones do. So I'm just going to put this here in the hope that Bret Hart drags that up. Uh, and then we just hope that he doesn't get injured. Just give someone a chance to put themselves over. Or we just have Raquel keep calling out. Uh, Eo, while well, she's not around. I think I'll do that. Don't want to play any more of these? No, I want to play all these next week. Okay. I think I'm ready. Five. Four, three, two, one, confirm. At least something went on the air, eh? Dan, welcome back. What's north of Wood Green? Is there anything? Does anyone live there? Wood Is Green's it a barren in, wasteland? Well, Wood Green's in that annoying bit that's just over from Walthamstow. Yeah, well, so I got Walthamstow. I've been, I've been. We're talking, we're talking Piccadilly line, right? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. So I've done Manor fossils. House, done Turnpike Lane, got to Wood Green, and then what? <gasps> I've got one for the next round. Cockbusters. I've got Cockbusters, Oakwood, and Southgate. Mm. And then there's that there's that bit in the middle, sort of which middle ground, I don't yeah. believe really exists. I don't believe anyone's been there. In the meantime... That's where Alexander Palace is. So. Yeah, but that doesn't have a cheap station. No, it's true. Devastating. It's wood green. Uh, so I've gone and bought Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> we had the money. Why not? We had the money. Um, I've got a long-term game plan for him, but in the meantime, I thought is it, the best way to re-debut him will be a tables triple threat match with Marseille and Wesley. Lovely, yeah. No, that's um, a really nice use of him. My goal here is to get the, the pop from the crowd because Stone Cold Steve Austin showed up, but to get Mace and, and Wesley to avoid starting a feud with any of them. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. Um, Wesley wins and starts, <laughs> Austin starts a feud with Marseille, which the people who was, have been watching know was the exact thing I was trying to avoid because I nearly booked them in a singles match. My commissioner goal was to get Mace on the card, essentially. Yeah. Um, that is deeply irritating, <laughs> but I guess that's fine. Uh, Dudop calls out Zelina to further a feud. It doesn't work. What a shot. Probably no one could understand her. She's broadly Scottish. Uh, now, you might see what I've done here. You're interfering on the other side. I'm interfering for Gigi because I felt bad. Oh. She sent me an email. She was quite upset. Did, and I thought, she? well, oh. you know what? Might as well. Yeah, now you're just going to get, you're going to daisy chain through this game. Yeah, <laughs> that's a really good Because now you have idea. to do it for Candice. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, uh, well, it didn't help Gigi. Um, you, put, you actually put her off. <laughs> she was so distracted <laughs> by the lights flickering off my belt. Uh, I thought I'd use Charlotte for a little bit of advertising promo because she can handle a bit of mummons. Um, then we're looking to continue the feud between uh, Bobby Roode and Jive Owens. Jive um, Owens. So let's see how that's gone. It's a normal match. I toyed with putting them in a big match, but Jive has got... Uh, Bit of an injury. Well, it did nothing, so whatever. <laughs> At least your, it was a good match. This is, oh, this is good, though. This is good for you. If you're right yeah. before the pay-per-view. Well, I wanted to rest Indy as well, because yes. she was a bit poorly. Mm -hmm. She's been pulling double duty with two belts. Uh, Indy two belts. Uh, in Indy heart belts. Um, it didn't work. Indy. Anyway, look. But that worked. Level three rivalry. Happy days. And a title match steel cage between <laughs> Seth and LA Knight. Because I was hoping... That this might push them up an extra bit in their rivalry the week before the pay per view. Oh yes. Let's focus on LA Knight's stamina. It's probably yeah. They all still came. Steel Cage match pushes the rivalry up, but it does. Uh, it does does does, does does some damage. It's a chance, yeah. Does some damage, but we'll see what happens. Let's uh, stimulate that. LA Knight retains once again. He's on the streak of his life. It did exactly what oh. I wanted it to do, and they're fine. Yes, lads. Let's go. Come on. All right. Oh, Blake Gold. See what you got done Lucky for me. Bastard. All right, here we go. In the escalating feud. <laughs> that is definitely actually When, when a they're feud. not having a feud, I'm just going to make it a feud. They've had a tables match, and now it's Extreme Rules. I love it. Brett the Hitman Hart versus... Fox Joey, catches Joey, Joey Wheeler. Wheeler. And he's Tam Wizard. Tam Cha, Joe Wheeler. Brett yeah, wins well, again. Naturally. Hey! Hey, we finally got it off the fucking blocks. Escalated. Yes, yes it did. Brett versus 
Wheeler. That's great. At the pay-per-view, they could do something really big. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's fun. Okay, and then we've got Johnny Gargano calling out uh, Razor, which grows their rivalry to level Lovely. two. Annoyingly, Lovely. I couldn't book Razor on Why? the show because it said, don't use your most popular bruiser. Uh, ah. And I wasn't going to do it. I didn't really care about it mm. until I saw the power card. Right. And when you see the power card, you'll know why I needed it. Ah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a good way of getting yep. him involved in the show without having to actually use exactly. it. Exactly. Did, did the job. And then, bless, oh, and bless you've the also... heart, Matt Riddle and Julius Creed have joined the roster. <laughs> They've shown up. Yeah. You finally went with a Creed brother. You, yeah. were, you were very anti the Creed brothers for a while. I was anti the Creed brothers, but now, because eventually I'm going to partner <laughs> up with Joel Wheeler. Ah! And they're going to be Team Foxcatcher. Love that. See? Perfect. I also see you've gone for the bigger arena. Yes. Good shout. I'm I've gone for out. the bigger arena every round apart from the round where you made it impossible oh. for me to buy it. All right. Yeah. Fair play. One, two, it's over. Hello. Here we go, Matt Matty. Riddle. And they've got oh, that's yeah. fine. The rivalry's How many rivalries? Have you, I feel like you've got about twelve. Uh, yeah, this is my page of rivalries that are all currently happening. Uh, if you want to see that, uh, it's a lot. You got a lot of level one, level one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rivalries. Nine rivalries. Okay, okay. Just got to choose some. Women's champ Asuka. Okay. No did, popularity. Did Didn't... She was on the show. Yeah, she was on the show. That's fine. Ilya Dragunov versus T-Bar. Let's get something cooking or injure T-Bar. I don't care which at this point. <laughs> T-Bar wins, wins, but at what cost? A rivalry! Hey! <laughs> That's another one. You run out of space. I've got ten. <laughs> like, this is the thing. Everyone on your roster, basically, at this point, is in a rivalry. Yep. You just can't use any of them. Oh, no. Yeah. But this is the good thing. I can I can ping pong between all these rivalries <laughs> for a bit of time. Whoa. Yes, Raquel Rodriguez. So wait, hang on. Going in the work. Injury wise, um, is EO back next week? EO is back. Uh, she was out for three weeks from week two, so I don't think so. I think she is. Back she might be though. Sometimes after the pay per view. Oh, well, okay. But well, that's not, good though. That's getting paid off. Yeah. And you can blow it off the week after with a submission. So you're fine. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then we run the risk with Baszler here, but I thought let's just there's something to do in the main event. Yeah. Love that. Another mediocre match, but they have grown to a three, which is what I wanted before the pay-per-view. Look at her, and Katana Chance is so... did not get injured. She's so pleased about it. Yeah. Look at the smile on her face. These two mediocre idiots having that <laughs> mediocre match. <laughs> All right. Absolutely destroyed me in terms of the level of booking. But we both got good booking. You yes. had the consistency. That, the, the drama the, curve. Was yeah, there. the very least you didn't get a poor finale. No, the drama curve is watching my lads limp through their, their <laughs> weekly scheduled matches. Do you want to look at any of these? No. No, I, I think don't think fine. I want to. I, what is it about these two that's not working together? Why do they hate each other? They like getting there now. They're now both. The I mean, the only thing I can think of is that one of them is a specialist. But even so. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of specialists on the game. Mm. But that's what they're there for. Yeah, the pro well, the problem is, every time I go to the roster page to look to buy someone who I need to fill a certain slot. Not a specialist. And, or the opposite. So, ah, like, okay. they're either they're heel or face, and it's yeah. like, I need them this week. That's I don't it, need can't... them in two weeks' time. Yeah. Um, so... I got Stone Cold with a contingency plan in case I need to turn in. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is it. Now I've got enough people that hopefully just some submission matches and yeah. some promos will get me to places where I can actually have rivalries. Because you have enough of them. them. Well, that I want to pay off. Like, yeah, you know, like ones having that, rivalries really, is not the problem. Ones that work together, I think, is the main thing. Because every, every at the moment, everything's sort of hinging on specialists. Yeah, so I don't think it gets bigger. Pop. Maybe you have a submission week. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone injured again. Submission match injured yeah. the hell out of Edge. So gonna, <laughs> then you just release. I'm it. gonna have so many people on my roster by the end. Of this <laughs> game. All right, here we go. Stone Cold back in the ring. Uh, Forty-seven. We're, we're over the fifteen hundred mark. That's nice. That's 47,000 is a lot of people. All right. Mm. Um, missing Bobby Lashley's matches. Yeah, I, I just haven't had a place to put him. Wow, that was awesome. Daniel J. Layton came out of nowhere to help Gigi against Candice Array. I thought they were all on the same team. Well, we are. It's just Daisy Jane. Okay, okay. No specialisms. Sure. I, everyone's just doing fine. I guess I'm not booking them in a big match. So yeah, maybe that's what it is. Oh. Nothing massive. Oh. Yeah. Significant lower than yours. I think I've overtaken you. I think you probably have here. Not good, because Dan's Gee. got that power card. I have. And look, Katana Chance was happy. Yeah, I know. I'm just happy about it. I mean, if two of my people hadn't been injured week two, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have had to spend so much money yeah. starting level one feuds with everyone. So did you do your um, commissioner goal? Yes, I did. So you've got your, you've got your card. I should have my card. Yeah. Happy days. 
Let's find out though. Okay. I, can't I think I did mine. I'm pretty sure I did mine. Coast to coast. Uh, commission's goal for the week. Oh, coast to coast, which is a GM of interference. Ah, well, maybe I'll continue. Yeah. It helps me. There um, we go. The ah! Love, you did need that. I did need that. Lovely. Oh, he's number go. one. He's clawed it back. And look at the budget difference as well. Oh, oh yeah. Jeepers, creepers. You just spend your way out. <laughs> Saving it. Saving it for the big show. Yeah. To, to get the big show in. That's my trade with AEW. Um, well, so it all rests on this week. Last oh. week, last week I was in this position too, and you still took over me. So let's. I mean, you did have a special card. I had a special Do you card. have any special cards? No. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, we'll Luke, out. Dad, I'm not as far behind as you aren't. That's true. Another big week here on the Wednesday Night War, and once again at the top of the table, he is top of the pops. It is Daniel J. Layton. By, uh, you know, not, a, not a, an insurmountable lead, but still a lead nonetheless. Dan Layton is once again back in the number one position on the Wednesday Night War. Consistent solid booking has <laughs> paid off, as well as not having a roster full of hurting people, which is what has cursed Larry Blake throughout this pay-per-view cycle run. If you want to get your thoughts on this show, head on over to patreon.com forward slash wrestle talk and leave a comment on a post that we've got over there and I'll read it out on the air like these ones. Dan, we've got a song suggestion for you. Huge. So during our next one, um, could you please listen to Through the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force? Now, Andrew has done that for a reason. Oh, it is very long. I think it might even be about seven minutes. Let me have a look. Uh, C. Deaton here says, Dan, if you're a fan of country, I recommend Sophia Scott. Love her brand new album. She reminds me of Carrie Underwood. I do love country. What was that? Uh, Sophia Scott. Okay. And um, top song is called Sex on the Beach, so we'll whack that on there. There you go. Uh, Arnie the Ghost said, Is Laurie's favourite song Break Stuff by Limp Bizkit? Because that is what he's going to be listening to. It's because that's what he's going to be doing with his roster. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> it's he's... not my fault. They're just not getting better. And I'm not getting any cards. And I've got no money. Uh, and Joshua says, I can't watch this live. But remember, fight and win. Mm. And that's currently what Dan Layton is doing. Uh, we do have one other suggestion in for a song uh, from a uh, uh, Luke Owen. Uh, that is uh, Pink Hotel by Scene Queen uh, for Dan Layton. I'll just um, th th thank you, thank, if, thank Luke. You. If you could thank Luke Owen for me, I, I will do. Um, just tell them they have to put in another chat. Just sign up for another Patreon. Yeah. Okay. If they could, if they can just bump themselves, the, if they can bump themselves up to the the pledge hammers, I'll consider it. Okay. Because the pledge hammers is a really good tier. I, I, okay. I'll, I'll 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 see what I can do. F feed it back to them. I'll, I'll feed it back to the chat. Uh, but yeah, we are. I think we're about ready to head back on over. So just remember, folks, it's time to get your dates in the diary because this is our final week for this stream. But that doesn't mean that the game is over. It will continue on November the 29th. That is another Wednesday. Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. Same bat time, same bat channel, where we'll be doing weeks 11 through 15 of the Wednesday Night War. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash rest talk to get your final comments in. And we're going to head back on over to our players if they are ready. Yes, lads. Yes. It's time to head on back over. <laughs> to Laurie Blake, NXT, and Dan Layton, NXT 2.0. Take it away, lads. I think I will, you know. I'm bloody nervous now. You're going to be all right. I don't know if Theo is back or not. I ho I mean, she could... Now, do this you have a an... full feud payoff week? I don't want to give you a, give, give anything away for you. Mm. Do you have an injury rehab card? No. If there's one of the power cards, buy, buy it. it. Yes, yes. Yeah, because yeah. she'll be available immediately. Yes, I know. Yeah. So, yeah, Grant, do it. All right, because I want to see that match now. I want EO and Raquel to have their moment yeah, in the Well, song. Raquel's just been standing in the ring being like, now, EO, when you come back from being injured, <laughs> let me tell you what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to re-injure you. Wait, when, when, <laughs> when she says, when you're back, yeah. Raquel, Raquel, she's got a back. She's got a back? It's the whole thing. Mm, yes, she does. Yeah. She's got a back. It was, it, look, it was a limp joke. I tried my best. But I've got a stressful week. We've got a book of pay-per-view. The jokes can't be on fire. What you got? Well, have I got? I don't know. I haven't decided the pay-per-view jam. Oh. I feel like we need a sudden tonal shift. You do. Something inspiring. Something to lift you. What is inspiring to me? Brand's Ballman soundtrack. Oh, yeah. I'm going to listen to The Touch. What's that? By Stan Bush. 
Lovely. Touch. All right. You ready out? Seven minutes on the you clock. You got the touch! <laughs> well, I will say, the out, the, the singing and the performance really did help him last time. Do you remember when he was Hamilton for a bit and then suddenly took over? Right. Here we go. Seven minutes on the clock. Three, two. Oh, wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I nearly forgot. Back in Houston. Can't wait to put on a show for my crowd. Good job I got you then. Hey, thanks for showing up and making me look like a joke. You're a real pal. I'll remember this. Well, guess what, Candice? It's your turn this week. Um, have at least one Hell in a Cell match this week. What do I get for it? Health bar three? That'll do you. Fine. Um... All right, uh, book show. Main event is going to be Randy and Jinder. We're going to, I guess that maybe that's the Hell in the Cell match. We'll book it immediately just to see what happens. Although that's going to instantly make Jinder poorly. So maybe we won't. Maybe instead we'll make this one. Where are they? Oh, well, Indy's at 42. I'll make that. I danced too much and I hit my head. He danced too close to the sun. Oh, no. Oh, Icarus. <laughs> um, I'll make that one... Uh, stamina boost low. We'll do that one instead. Make that last man stamp thing. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I wanted to blow off some fuse, didn't I? Jive Owens. There you go. This'll do it. Or am I going to give Indy a rest? Right. Question is, do I want to put Jive Owens and Bobby Roode in a Hell in a Cell match? Um, I'm going to have... Seth Rollins call out LA Knight. Take that to a level four. Because I know some of you are probably writing in the chat that I might have forgotten. I'm actually... Oh, Hello. I'm actually not going to play my network special power card this week. And I'll tell you why. I've already taken the lead. And he's got a roster of people. The land of the broken bones. So I might need this in the future. And right now I feel pretty confident that I'm going to put on a good show. So rather than use it to get a boost and then potentially come up trumps or come up against trouble. I'm going to keep it. What I am going to do is fix the match so that Jinder becomes my champion. Because that way I can book a few between Jinder Mahal and Stone Cold Steve Austin. The dream matches we all wished to see. Uh, what I am going to do is do a Fatal 4-Way. Um, am I? No, because that's not going to blow off the feud. We'll get some people on the card though. We'll put Charlotte on the card. Uh, Gigi on the card. Candice on the card. And uh, Sammy George can have a go too. And I'll do a GM interference this time for Candice LeRae! Um, I don't, where, where am I time-wise? Four minutes left. I think I'm not going to make you a... I will make you a backstage brawl though. Because that way I've got my Hell in a Cell. I don't want to do it. Um, Hell in a Cell, 80-42, 89-52. You can take the backstage brawl damage. And we'll do... Will I do a tag team match? Have I got the people? No, I haven't. There you go. That's what I'll do. I'll do a submission match between these two. And that'll blow that off for me. Um, do I need a charity promo? Um, injury rehab. I don't need that. Forged in fire. Oh, I could use that and guarantee... I'm taking that one. I could use my Forged in Fire. Oh, I'll use my Coast to Coast as well, because I'm booking a G Interference. Plus two show bonus. There you go. So that's the other thing. I can save my network special, because I'm using that and giving myself a boost in other places. Okay. Um, do I want to get that Forged in Fire? We'll buy these special effects. The show is costing a lot of money, so I will give myself free arena booking to take that cost down a little bit. Um, 208 and hopefully I'll get another one of those sometime soon done that, done that, done that 2 minutes and 37 seconds right, let's think about this is there anyone in the free agents <laughs> he's just there waiting for a call AEW haven't picked him up yet um, 
Oh, Becky. Oh, I love a Becky. Yeah, I'm not going to buy her, though. Um, Cena. No, the Northern Light. Well, I'll be looking to flesh out my women's tag division. Um, so, we'll, but we'll save that. Um, if Rhea wins that belt, who have I got there? A bad guy bruiser. So, I'll need a good guy fighter. I could put Candice back in. Um... Alternatively, there's Trish. There's Trish. But we'll save that. In the meantime, it's that backstage brawl costs a load of money. A bunch of... Do I need it? I don't think I do. Iron Man's much better. Is it worth the 1,000 fans? The 10,000 fans? At 90k. I don't know, you know. I don't know if it is. On a, on a feud that involves Jive Owens and... Well, I guess. I just don't want to go over budget and then lose all of that money that I've saved. Because I've just bought a new... Arena. Uh, no, I bought that new um, logistics. We'll leave it for now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Do I want to do any other call-outs? No, we'll get a self-promo in from uh, Logan to put him back up the roster. And I'll get a charity promo from Kevin Owens. Which means I can maybe get some fans. And that means I can take that down to an Iron Man. Alright, fine. That that feels, like a, that feels like a nice compromise. And then for the last one, an advertising promo from Wesley. Why not? He's got a lot of... Uh, that recoup some of that cost as well. Yeah, I think that's a nice balance. So I'm not using the power cards. Rivalry on cooldown, Flair and Lorraine. Were they in a rivalry? Oh, fine. Swap you out for Selena, I guess. Oh, that's three. Ugh. Swap you out for two drop. Fine. No cooldowns. That feels like a good show. And we're at 10 seconds left. So, Hell in a Cell opener. Iron Man. Tiles on the line. Tiles on the line. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Submission to close that off. Hell in a Cell. I did free arena booking. All right. We're going to do it. Confirm booking right now. Ready, babes? Hello. My headphones are very nice. Thank you. I need new ones. I'll have those when you finish then. All right. How about that? I'm like four years old. <laughs> but I'm tacky and cheap. So. How was that? That was good. Yeah. I feel like I booked a decent show. Yeah. Um, I had I had a bit of back and forth right at the end there about well how I was going to use my money. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I, in life, operate on the David Becker model, which is just get money and spend it. Yes. Uh, but you can't really be that way. When you got it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, Murray. So for sure. Right. Let's crack on with this. We'll do Dragon Force for a bit, and then I'm gonna not for the whole time. Well, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna sit here and let's do it for the whole time. No. So I'll skip over to some country music because I love it. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy your show, my friend. Thank you. Let's see where we get to. In three, two, one, go. Right, Joe Wheeler. Contracts up at the end of the week. What are you doing? What are you up to at the moment, Joel? You're having a little feud with somebody. Yeah, you've started a feud with Bret Hart. It's taken a while. 10k. Uh... Yeah, I actually already have that. That's great. Uh, let's do that. 10k. This is so much. Easy. Yeah, great. Uh, where have you been? So we had a partnership. You've had my back. You haven't been able to have a match, you idiot, because you're injured. You don't seem to remember that you got injured and you couldn't be in a match. How can I be in your corner if you can't have a match? Too much time shouting at Smash Champa. I've wasted a minute shouting at Smash Champa. Oh my god. Run a main event. I know the fans will be excited. Would mean a lot to me for my career. Uh... Main event? Yeah, you were going to main event this bloody pay-per-view, Asker. What, what did you think was happening? Would you least popular available star for a match this week? On the pay-per-view? Or is it not a countdown to Hell in a Cell? Is it not Hell in a Cell yet? I thought it was Hell in a Cell. Are we still on the countdown? What week is it, Luke? It's a this is pay-per-view. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's because it said countdown to Hell in a Cell. It threw me off. And it's like, yeah, I'm not going to book. That's so weird. Anyway, let's... I don't... Yep, thank you. We're going to go to the power cards first because we've got... Uh, any advertising show logistic will be booked. Uh, will be free. Confirm. Uh, free arena booking. Confirm. 
Title matches booked for this week will receive a large match rating bonus. Confirm. We have to spend. We have to spend because Dan has got that card. Hello, injury rehab. Total cost 30k. Uh, I'll be having that, thank you. Hello. Welcome back, EO. Welcome back. Right. That changes things. Because we can have Hell in a Cell and we can have it for free. Boom. Uh, and then advertising. We can have advertising for free. So 50k for this tier 2 one. That's free. I might do that. They're unavailable. Oh, they're unavailable. So I could just do this. Fine. Whatever. Well, if I can't unlock that to week 15, what's the point in that card? It doesn't matter. Save it up. Yep, fine. Should have known that before I pressed it. Admittedly, that was my fault. Alright, we're going to have this. We're going to spend. Uh, we're not going to spend on that, though. We're going to do... Uh, Asuka versus Bailey in a title match. Right, they've both got some stamina now, so we can afford to go a little bit more... A little bit more dramatic. I don't want to necessarily go too crazy because that stamina cross that stamina cost is too high um, so I'll probably just do that's very high I'm just gonna do extreme rules uh, let's take it off the title match put that back on right okay that's one Beige and Bala in their title match uh, and we are gonna do how long have we got three minutes that's fine oh <sighs> What's their stamina's? Their stamina's are bad. So I could. Ooh. Okay. Well, this is the this is like the end of the feud. So I'm gonna give them hell in a cell. And what I'm gonna do is give Balor a massage personally. <laughs> I will personally give Balor a massage to stop him getting injured here. Uh, pre physio. Finn Balor. Yes, I really want to reduce your chance of injury. I also don't really want you to win the championship, uh, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to go back over here. We are now going to do. We've got Baszler and we've got Baszler and Katana Chance, who we can blow off as well. Baszler quite likely to get injured, uh, but I don't mind that. I'm just going to let them do that in tables. I've got Eo Sky and Raquel Rodriguez, who are both rested up. I oh, know she's only gone down to one week. I thought I just cured Eo. It was two down. Oh, is it two down to one? So it's only for one week. So she's back next week. Fine. Sure. This is what happens. These things are so small. I can't... I can barely see this. Right, okay. That means we've got more interesting things to do. For the sake of the show. We'll put that in the middle. Right, Razor and Johnny. Johnny and Razor. Gonna risk an injury for Johnny. But we're gonna grow the rivalry. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot he's a champion. There we go. Thank you, Luke. Luke's closer to the screen than I am, and you can see more. And then we've got like one random, one random slot left on the card, which we'll give to somebody. Yeah. Could put all of the feuds in. Riddle. Cree. Bret Hart. <laughs> Wheeler. Fatal four way. Uh, Hart's got low stamina, but I don't. I'm not adverse to making this a bit spicier. Um, could try and grow the rivalry massive, but it's high stamina cost. Quality boost medium. Quality boost high. Ah, do you know what? That's fine for me. I'm into that. Um, and then, didn't book it. Do it properly, Laurie Blake. My goodness gracious. Wasting time. This is the bit that panics me. I've done a single run in this whole game. Uh, we'll do that. Look at T Bar's stamina. That's ludicrous. Right, that's booked. Got some promo slots. Uh, let me promo yourself. Uh, why don't you do some charity? Give me 
to recoup some of the cost of this pay-per-view that we've overspent on. And then there's very quickly see if we can sign any free agents. Oh, we're gonna beg him into she's very expensive. We're gonna jump Cena. Uh, I haven't got time to look at this realistically, so I think we're just gonna stick with that. Done all that, done my logistics. Have I done this? I actually have done that. I actually have done that. Confirm. Daniel. Yes! Oh, my goal for the stream was to get to 72.6 on the tube map. And I've done just that, Lauren. Mm. Go me. Go me. Um, I was very disappointed. Dragon Force I enjoyed. Yeah. Very disappointed, though, when I skipped over to listen to... Um, Sophia Scott to learn that the song that I had picked is actually a, a collaboration she did with Iggy Azalea. That was unpleasant mm. to get. That was, it was like a jump scare. Mm. So I moved on. Um, all right. Let's see what you got. Let's see what I've got. Welcome to my first show. What? Oh, right. So here we go. We booked Hell in a Cell match. Not only was it the pay-per-view bonus, it was also my commissioner goal, and I couldn't decide where to put it, but uh, Indy with 42 stamina, Rhea with 80. I thought, yeah, you know, hopefully Rhea will take the win here and we'll get a new champ, and Indy can go off and have a rest. But we'll see the proof of the pudding will be in the eating, and that's not what happened. <laughs> Instead, Indy wins. But it was with legendary. A oh, it was huge. Massive. Um, good for you, Indy, I suppose. Well, uh, off you go. You can take a little... Uh, I'll find someone for you and we'll do a, we'll do a call out. Uh, Seth, once again, awful at call out promos. Um, are we sure Just he's not a good guy in the game? With LA Knight. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to make it happen. Hopefully we've got an Ironman match here that's going to, uh, blow off the feud between Robbie, Robbie Roode, uh, yep. Bobby Roode and, and Jive Owens. Uh, cause I've got a plan for, for Owens. So let's see what happens when we stimulate this rivalry. Bobby Roode takes the win. The rivalry is complete. It's a great match. Happy with that. Logan's back on the uh, back on the main roster. He's mm -hmm. had some time on the shelf. Little uh, self promo there, uh, and we have once again done a GM interference here. The chain continues. This one is on behalf of Candice LeRae. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's just because I'm over on that corner. Trust and believe. Oh, and there you go. And it's got a little rivalry between Giggles and, it. and Candice. Um, but that means I can I, I can use my GM interference on either do drop or it depends on who's the most upset when the email mm. we next week. Okay. Uh, Kevin Owens with the charity promo. Uh, 3,500 was decent. Yeah, it could, it could be better, but it, it, decent. Uh, blowing off the rivalry here with Stone Cold and Marseille. Um, oh, you've just done a submission straight yeah, away. I didn't want just it. don't want it. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. Put it in the bin. Very good. Here they are. Uh, good match. Austin gets the win. That'll do you. Rivalry complete. Wesley uh, advertising promo. Nice bit of money there. Recoup some of the costs of that submission match. Very good. Yeah. And he had a right popularity for someone I'm not using that much. And then in our main event, it's a last man standing match between Randall Keith Orton and Jinder Mahal. Mm -hmm. And I may or may not have used the fixed match power card. Yes. Because I want nothing more than to see Jinder retain, re raise a title above his head. <laughs> in a classic. In a classic. Uh, so we, we started and finished with a legendary and a classic. Wow. I'm really happy with that. I think I've done a good show there. Um, it may interest you to know, yeah. I didn't use a network special card. Did you not? No. Oh, that's huge. Because I felt like I'd taken you over, and I felt like I could book a decent show, and there might come a point where I come a you cropper. You desperately need it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Makes a lot of sense. Put it in the back uh, pocket for now. Tell me what you've done. Well, I've done this. Lovely. So, I've done a Hell in a Cell between Biggie and Finn. I mm -hmm. gave Finn a personal rub down before the, before the <laughs> thing to try to stop him getting injured, so we'll see how this goes. Biggie is the winner. The rivalry is going to be legendary. legendary. Oh, you love to see it. Yes. You love to see it. Bit of self promo from Ilya Dragunov. Works He's wonders. More popular because I, I gave him the popularity boost card. So Ooh. in his last match against T Bar, he got a little boost to his popularity. Oh, hello. So he's starting to get over Got now. a new challenger there. Got a, a championship match versus of Johnny Gargano versus Razor Ramon in a steel cage in an attempt to boost the rivalry. Oh, are uh, they not at three yet? No, they're not at three. Oh, uh, okay. They're at two. Let's see how we do. Johnny retains. Legendary. Another legendary. I'm okay with that. I'm yeah. Honestly, okay with that. Did uh, you have a special um, boost on that legendary match? Or did you did no, it just legendary on his own? Just legendary on his own. Fair play. Good, good, good work. Shayna Baszler versus Katana Chance in the tables match to blow off their rivalry. Can they do it? Katana Chance is the one who comes out on top. Rivalry complete. It's great. Yeah. You're booking a good show, I'm okay with that. 
And then we just did a, we just did a four way. <laughs> Why between not? the two different rivalries on the roster. To find out who's got the best. Is it Chase? Is it, oh, it's not Chase, you is it? It's Creed, it's yeah. Foxcatcher, it's the Heart uh, Dungeon, and it's whatever hole Matt Riddle is currently residing in. Exactly. So, uh, can we so Fatal Four Way, every it's day. a TLC. Oh, yeah, go. lovely. Yeah, why not? Which Well, okay, so, well, Michael, we know who Michelangelo is. Which is? Uh, it's Riddle. Okay. Uh, Leonardo is obviously Brett, yeah. I think. Now, here's the issue. I think Creed gives off Raphael vibes, yeah. which I think by de facto makes Joel Wheeler Donny, but I don't think Joel Wheeler is Donny. I One think realistically Joel Wheeler is Casey Jones, mm -hmm. if not Bebop or Rocksteady. <laughs> One of these days I'm going to have to watch Turtles to understand what the hell yeah. you are. You do this every week and I'm like, sure, <laughs> don't know. Okay. The people care, they do. Okay, so we get uh, to stimulate this. One, two, that's three. Bell. Joel Wheeler Are gets you the dub. Kidding me. Oh, here we go. Hey, oh, though. Wheeler's rivalry grew. Who's injured? Who's Brett. injured? It was Brett. Brett's injured. Brett's Great. injured. Good stuff. Uh, oh, a, bit, a classic bit of NXT black and gold yeah. for the belt. And Asuka asked to be in the main event. Oh, oh, perfect. So this oh, all yeah. worked out nice. Extreme rules for the belt. This the rivalry finished? This is the rivalry finished. Okay. Yeah. This, oh, you've I'd done quite, a good I show. I quite like the rivalry. I quite like the belt to go on to Bailey here. Yeah. Because it gives me more options for the next competitor for both people. I think this is Oh, well done, well. Asuka. Fighting champ. Yeah. Oh, you match. have booked a fire show, my friend. Your, your show is better than mine. Goodness me. Once again. Look at you go. Right. Wowzers. What? It's all those rivalries, isn't it? It is the rivalries. Yeah. Bloody Bret Hart, man. What's he like, eh? Bloody Bret What's Hart. he like? He's going to ride out the rest of his temporary contract <laughs> on NXT <laughs> on an injury. What a heel. What, what a prick. Right, okay. Let's have a little look. Viewership. This is the big one. 148,000. It's not as big as it could have been. But I'm still going to take it. Uh, a nice little bit of funds there. Rival between Jinder and Orton got settled. Helped Candice. Do drop. Do drop. I'm going to write that down. Interfere. For do drop. Where does it say that? Um, oh, Candice. Yeah, do drop. look furious. What a killer show. Can't wait for the next NXT. Another win of the fluke for Indy Hartwell. What's that got to do with you, Lena? I guess that's you calling her out, I suppose. <laughs> Um, kind of average match, but there was no love lost between Gigi and Candice. Yo, NXT 2.0, oh, you know who deserves a championship. Rude. Well, you know, something to think about. All right. All right. Here Happy we go. With that. Big moment. Big moment. Big, huge moment. 148. Oh! <laughs> the power! <laughs> oh, and I made, Goodness, I, I made some money back. That's you okay. Did. Oh. All right. Well played. Okay. Turns out just the just booking NXT like regular. Yeah. <laughs> it's working out okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, my problem is I don't think I can live with the stress of doing this every time we do this. <laughs> because it was the four weeks in between this was so stressful. The takeover model is like alive. watching a fucking house of cards. <laughs> about to Hey Brett's injured. But someone else is bloody injured. Who else is injured? Who's the other one? Oh, I don't know. Who's right. on the... Champer back next week. Champer and EO are back next week. So that's good. We can get those cooking for next time. And we can forget about Brett. Just forget about Brett. Okay. We just needed him. We needed him in a pinch. What are we saying? Okay. Can I describe uh, tonight's NXT? Absolutely amazing. Asuka versus Bailey ended with a bang. What a rivalry. Rest up and recover quickly. The Hitman and Gargano. Oh, it was Gargano. Oh. oh no, that is... Quite and hard. he's a champ as well. You might have to champ. release him, mate. I might have to release him. I'll see what happens on the first week. If I mm. get an injury rehab card, then I'm... You're good. You're golden. I could also wait a bit. I could do a tag division for a while. Yeah, I yeah, haven't that's got one true. of those. Yeah, that's the thing. I've got a Neither bunch of... I've, got a bunch of I've, got, I've now, because I've also... Everyone's injured. I've got a bunch of loose blokes just floating around. <laughs> I've got a bunch of loose blokes <laughs> just floating around that need something to do. Tag, tag division screams uh, the solution to me. Joel Wheeler proving himself the best of the bunch in the fight. Here we go, Team Foxcatcher. Uh, tonight's NXT started strong and ended strong. I liked it. Never seen Asuka so dominant before on a total rampage. I mean, it's Asuka in NXT. What did you expect? Okay. Next. All right, let's have a look. So I got my health bar. Oh, you got health Lovely. bar. Lovely. That'll, that'll come in very handy. And I got uh, 
free special, special effects. effects booking. Oh, yeah, decent. And oh, hello. Had four weeks to a free agent or legends contract. Duration. Big play. I want to know what your seasonal challenges are. That's fun. Oh. Back. All right. All right. Let's have a look here. So what fight we've got. You're back on top as expected um, after that massive haul. But I'm only 15,000 behind. Last time, I think I was a good 20, 25,000 yeah. behind. And I managed to claw it back over the course of five weeks. That is much more surmountable, given that yours is the boneyard. Mine is, yeah. The, I feel uh, like... Broken boneyard. And look at that Jinder Mahal and Indy Hartwell are my champs. <laughs> I, my champs haven't changed. Oh, they haven't they're at all? Still just are they the ones you pick? still just Biggie and uh, Asuka. Stale, I'd I think say. I might start with Finn. Boring, oh, if anything. Yeah. Um, honestly... I'm all right with that. Knowing that I can find a way to claw it back with consistent booking and I didn't use my network special card. This is why I didn't use it. Because what if I need it again? What if next time goes so badly for me that I need to pull something special out of the bag? This is going to be what, what changes everything. I'm so curious what's going to happen next week. Next month, rather. Um, all right. Like no Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, yeah look at us both. We're, we're, look, we've hell. gone from... We've started to take it seriously. That's yeah. what we've learned. We're on board now. We're yeah, on board. let's do it. Do you know what? It's not all right game. <laughs> yeah, I go buy it. Good. It might go buy it. Yeah. yeah, I might eventually. All right, Lucian, do your worst. Can you believe it? Laurie Blake back on top. It only took one week's defeat for him to come back fighting three, five star matches on that show, and a couple of other ones. And who who'd have thought Joel Wheeler was that was better than Bret Hart, Matt Riddle, and one of the Creeds? So. Turns out, you know, things do happen on this game. And that is going to do it for this stream. Uh, we've got one chat left to read out from Darren, which says, Dan, you backed into that joke. Didn't have the spine to commit. Lol, love the stream. When we oh, I just remembered what Darren. the joke was. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Raquel, she got back. You did well there. Yeah. That was good. That was a good chat. So thank you all so much uh, for watching. We'll be back next month on November 29th, 2023 uh, for the next edition of the Wednesday Night War, which will be weeks 11 through 15. What is going to happen? Is Johnny Gargano going to get released? Is Bret Hart going to get released? Is yeah, Dan going to sign more people? Is Dan going to have to recover some of his hurting people now because he pushed his roster to their limits during that five-week period. How are they going to be feeling post hell in a cell? Will Laurie's stars ever see above 40% health? <laughs> no. Nope, probably not. Uh, but we'll find out when we see you again next month. Until then, I've been Luke Owen, D-A-D. -D. Thanks again to Laurie and Dan for joining me representing NXT and NXT 2.0 respectively. We will see you next month on the 29th. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash WrestleTalk for extra bonus content. Jam that jam. We'll